Alrighty, it is time for the draft podcast of the SGPL question mark season one. Cole, is that it? You would like to potentially, yeah. Confirm. Uh, this is RPL twelve and a half. <laughs> yeah. Half RPL. Um, we'll see. This is this is like a test for season thirteen. Oh, that's a good test. Trying, trying no Terra, no Z move. Uh, with 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 all with tribe with all Yeah, split megas. Split megas. What else? Yeah. Uh, the funny thing was, like, Cole asked me, "Is like, hey, can I just like have this doc or whatever?" Uh, and he's like, "This is what I'm thinking of doing." And just some of the feedback I'd gotten from RPL and other stuff, it basically aligned perfectly. Um, so nice. there's a there's a chance a lot of things are just gonna be similar. Yeah. Well, anyway, we have Unless they suck. Greg here. We have Cole here. Um, I think we should just get started. We have 18 teams. Uh, yeah. I assume we're just going in order. Yeah, I think so. Alrighty. Uh, Cole, do you want to start with Greg? Um. Right here. Yeah, go for it. I have like no prep. So. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm like half prepped. I'm, I've, I I'm, like I'm, reviewed I'm most teams, but there's like f- I don't know six or seven I missed. I just I'm just here for hot takes. Yeah. For hot takes. We'll see. Um, it's a it's solid. I the offense is a bit weird. Um, I don't know. The power is is good like it's just it's not super threatening you know you got the urshifu and a valiant um otherwise i don't really see anything on this team that like worries me um weevil is like a good cleaner but it's not something you have to like worry about sweeping your team necessarily um yeah but otherwise, I don't know. It's like the defense is, is super strong, so there's that. That's usually the case for Greg drafts. Um, and then the, the Skarm Forger synergy is, is like crazy, obviously. So I think it's going to be really hard for teams to break. It's just like, can the offense break through? Greg? I, I, oh, I sorry. Okay. I was just saying, I... I agree with a lot of that sentiment. I do think that um, Mega Sceptile is kind of underrated because if I'm hitting neutral targets for pretty good damage decently quickly, and I feel like I'm kind of going back more to my preferred style of uh, kind of wear them down and then put myself in a position for like a Valiant or a Weavile or an Urshifu to come in at the, at the end and just kind of clean up. Um, which is why I'm so happy I have Skarm, because like I I have a lot better hazards than I did like in RPL season 12 where it was like Sandy Shocks and that's it. Um, having like Skarm plus Swampert for like rocks, spikes, um, Auroras gets it as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm... it's just like you only have rocks and then spikes on Skarmory. So, like, I guess most weeks you're running rocks on Swampert, spikes on Skarmory, but it's not, like, the best thing. Yeah, I was having, like, I, I took the team just to, like, the Nat Dex ladder. Uh-huh. And it felt surprisingly good to play. Interesting. Um, just, like, just being able to to have some of those defensive options that can then kind of pivot. Yeah. With the Petrant, the Moltres... Um, like dry passing on Florges as well. Yeah. yeah. No, the defense uh, is crazy. It, like, there's no I, doubt. I think I think Scar and Pekka is absolutely stupid. I mean, it's both physical. Yeah. But it's so hard to break. Well, that's why I like Florges with the team because um, yeah, whatever they have to swap out of, Florges just tanks. Yeah, and then if like a poison or a steel type or something comes in, Skarmory and Petron just say, "Who cares?" I think the cool thing with this team is that you can run it like with different modes because mm-hmm. obviously your defense is crazy, and Petron can hit those poisons very easily, so you could wear teams down that way. Yeah. Um, but also you could go with like Aurora Veil vale and just go for go for a setup with Valiant or whoever. Yeah, I'm super happy because it feels like I at least have 
surprise and like kind of good viable sets for like an offensive Moltres or an offensive Petrarunt or like an offensive Swampert for like one or two weeks if it just like catches someone by surprise to a good matchup. Sure, yeah. but like uh, you'd rather run better offensive mons offensive. <laughs> Sure, absolutely. But sometimes it's just, if it's like favorably matchup wise, just yeah. take it. I don't know. It's just like you have really great support too. You got the Aurorus and the Sceptile for supporting setup, but then like your setup is just like SD or Shifu and Calm Mind Valiant, and, which are like good, but they're also like going to be very prep for uh, because they're kind of your only options. And I don't know. It's just. It, it would just be nice if you had one more offensive mod. It's really not that big of a deal. I I agree. Like, ultimately, I agree. And that's where, like, I kind of wish that... Like, if, if I had, like, it, you know, everyone wishes they had more points. Yeah. But if, like, that Frillish was, like, one one last little offensive threat, I would be so happy. Yeah. Um. Actually, if, if it had somehow worked into her, I could get, like, Arctazolt. Like, just at that last little bit, I would be so happy. You could like swap Aurorus for the Amara or whatever it's called and then get mm -hmm. but yeah, it's it's still it's not like it's a big improvement. Um all right, okay. we should move on. Uh sorry, what were you gonna say, Cole? I was like, I feel like you could drop Magnazone too, I feel like I feel like you don't lose too much from uh, I, I kinda see that, but like having the electric type and uh it kinda rounded out that last little bit of defense. That I that I kind of thought I would want, and being able to run like AV as well. I yeah. yeah, I don't I don't think it's very needed, but anyway, it's good for like immediate power, I guess. Yeah. Um, and then also just uh the one thing that your defense does struggle with is ghost types. Um, yeah, ghost. Is, yeah, ghost is like a pretty big. Problem yeah, surely there thing. isn't like a really strong ghost type in this draft, right, guys? Surely. Yes, like, surely, yes. surely not something that's been banned from a tier before uh it's not actually that good you knew that right. i gave it right. uh seven and a half just because i don't think the offense is that good and the ghost but like i don't know it's it's good it, it could be an eight i i think i think it'll be surprising i'll i'll, I'll say like 8.2 or something like that. 8.2 um um and i quote perfect team as always eight out of ten feels fun feels fun for sure yep it is. All right. All right. Con time. On to con and not bunnies. Uh, I like con's team a lot. So, like, speaking of, yeah, we got the, the oh. ghost threat, Annihilate. Uh, I don't think Annihilate's that good. In fact, I think it's more of, like, a 15, 16 point mon. But having said that, con has drafted the perfect team around Annihilate. He has the Shedso yeah. Cyclozar, he has the Dual Screens Grimmsnarl, he has Misty Terrain, so he can't get toxic or uh, Will-O-Wisped. Like, the support, like, if Annihilate doesn't do insane things this season, it will never do insane things. This is the Annihilate team. Like, it's so, so good. Yeah. He's got Moth to, to break things. Rachi is, Rachi's such a wild card always, because, I mean, I know Ben, you know firsthand you could have a good matchup into it and then get flinched to death and then It's just it's just very versatile. Um but yeah. yeah. It can run a lot of it can run Scarf, it can just run rocks, it can be defensive. Same with, same with Meow, like it could you know, set hazards or Yeah, well Meow is just like a good it's like a it's like the weevil of Greg's team, like it's just a good sweeper in the end. Um yeah. So I think it's fine. Like the speed is good. Like the offense in general is is very threatening. Um, he's got like tons of options. You know, he's got the Mio Scarter we already mentioned, Iron Moth. He's got Breloom, which I think uh, is really solid. Um, even Mega Manetric he can bring some weeks. I think that also helps out his defense, which is pretty lacking. Like having the the Intimidate support there. Um, but yeah, his defense is like very limited. Um, it's especially was... on the side. Yeah, it is very, very weak, I'm saying now. That's yeah. But it's it's not lot. like it's meant to be more of a bulky offense team. Or even even like on the fringe of hyper offense, I would say. So like it's not yeah. a big deal. But yeah, you would just like like one more good defensive mon. Um I'm really I not would... a fan of Colossal at all. No. I'm I'm kind of worried about fairy types on this team. 
like this thing has a this team has a massive fairy yeah. problem. I have that too on my notes. Um, in and, universe, and, is this team alive? Yeah, I think Colossal yeah, but, was meant to sort of patch up the fairy a little bit, but yeah, I, I told Con about I, that last night. Like fairy is a problem for sure. Uh, there's something else I noticed was there's a lot of speed clumped at around 85 to 90, and I think. Uh, you can kind of be, get taken advantage uh, advantage of from that. Mm, I disagree. Like his speed is so speed. good that it, it's clumped at that, but like that's his slower mons yeah. is eighty five ninety. Like I guess. Like, would you rather his um, speed be like what? Would you rather like an eighty five well, mon be so, like base sixty instead? You know. Uh, I I think it depends. Uh, in the sense, like I wish there was like a a defensive mon that was a little slower, because just some of your stats are going to be allocated elsewhere. Like it's it's not a big thing. It's just something I had noticed. Um. I typically I like having a little bit of it spread out, just so you you force them to to run the maximum like, number of EVs. I I totally disagree. Uh, like he everything is eighty two or above, except for Breloom, which click, clicks mock punch half the time. Yeah, that's Grim fine. Grim yeah. which has a priority move on every single move it runs, and Colossal, which doesn't matter. Like everything else is eighty two or above. Like that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> like the speed. This is probably the best speed in the whole draft. Yeah, I agree. Like you can't, like there's no way you. Can... It's, no, it's it's just a gripe I have. I like spacing it out. Like it's it's good. It's fast. It's just I don't know. I I like having some other stuff like that. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's just stylistically, like I like having some of that. Uh, okay. Like I don't particularly love it. Yeah. But yeah, no, the offense is amazing. Defense is like kind of a problem, but maybe we'll. I think work. you're. I think you'll see screens with this team every week. Yeah. I, I think, think you, you have, have to. to. Yeah. I just think it's and it's a really good no formula to win every single week. You know what it's gonna do and you can prep around yeah. it, but it's like it's just so hard to prep against, like That's true. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I actually think what would have been really awesome with this team is if something else had just happened at Willow Wisp. I don't know if Colossal gets it, like I wrote that note before I think that it was does. Off. It does. Um He's got like T Wave Grim Snarl, so nice. which is yeah solid. Um Yeah. My only other complaint is just when it comes on to like offensively, like Cyclozar itself is a is a good mon. I think it's a good mon. I think Shuttle is great for this team. I don't love the fact that that's like the only dragon. I feel like that this is one of the teams where it may have liked to have another dragon. Granted, it's already kind of fairy weak. Yeah, why? But... Like, I don't think he's losing out yeah. on any resistances. Like, no. he's fine against grass. He's fine against water. He's okay against fire a little bit of a fire weakness uh, actually yeah. no he is like fire weak that's another reason why he got colossal but yeah. besides the fire resist i think he's fine um, yeah it's just feeny that's a real resist to that like i wouldn't count uh yeah iron moth like iron moth like cyclozar exists but i feel like you want that health to be going yeah. directly to shed tail yeah all right anyway we got to move on i really like this i gave it a nine out of ten i think it's just yeah such a winning formula. Uh, I had it an eight before some of the changes earlier. I say I'm gonna say eight just because of the fairy weakness. We'll see how that plays. I'm sure you can play around it, but it's gonna be like yeah. But I'll also say like it's not it's varies. not a, as big of a deal as like Greg's ghost weakness. No, like, this is an offensive sure, sure. team, right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. All right, Boonty Joker. Greg, you wanna start? Uh, sure. Um, so what I had noticed is this team has, or at least what felt like the most removal, like, on any team. Mm. Um, this, it feels like you can kind of hazard stack really nice, and the addition of Fortress, um, fixed my, uh, my biggest issue. Yeah. Was your Rapid Spinner before was Hitmonlee, and outside of, um, like, terrain... That ain't that ain't really good. Um, let's see. His hazard setters are insane, yeah. Um, and then the yeah. removal yeah. is fine. It's just like you have to run either fortress. You basically have to run fortress every week, which is not yeah. good. But whatever. I I also think you kind of need to run flashfire arcanine pretty frequently. I would say, I would say is that like good flashfire? But yeah, because you have your um, your ogre pawn. Your Orbital, your Golden Go, your Fortress are all, like, weak to fire. You need something to sponge that. Kind of want regular Archon over Hisui, I feel like. I feel like you want your 
most times you're going to be doing a defensive Arcanine with this team. I, I think so, yeah. Eh, maybe. Oh, because your, your defensive mons, right? Just like looking at it quickly, is, is Orbeetle, Golden Go Fortress. Yeah, and so they like, all share a fire weakness. The thing is, like, I know what he was going. Like, he has insane hazards and he has a Golden Go. Like, so that's great. But yes. you would hope that he'd have a bit more of a balanced, bulky team. And instead, he just has a lot of, like, offensive stuff that is kind of bulky, but can't recover and can't last long. Um, yeah. And so I think it would just be better if he just kind of full sends the, the semi stall. Um, you could honestly hazard stack against this team. And then... Well, I mean, he's got yeah. the fortress. I think, like, he has to, he just has to, like, bring the fortress every week and then just, like, you know, bear down and just kind of stall out and get his hazards up slowly and, like, recover off anything. But he doesn't yeah, have the team I'm... for that, you know? No, he doesn't. Because what, is it Golden Ghost the only one with, like, self recovery? Is that. Am I crazy for thinking I think that's, that's the uh, case? Arcanine or... gets Morning Sun, right? But yeah. I mean, right. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. those two are really the only things. Yeah. So. It's like other than that, like you have, I guess you have uh, Ogre Pond Synthesis, and you technically have Wish on Jolteon, but yeah, I don't think that's your best use of Jolteon. Would adding in like something like a Powdon be good with this team? It, it powers up Mega Garchomp, and yeah, like, like you're going for just the hazards, it just adds a little more chip. Although he is uh, like water, out he wind. is water weak already, so I don't know. Already, yeah, yeah. It depends on who you it. drop, right? Like if I if I were looking for something, I would try to find something in the same point range as um as Hitmonlee. You actually have one point extra, so you could try and find an eight point mon. Yeah. I mean, you say you say water weak, but I don't see many weeks that you're bringing Nihiligo and Arcanine, you know. Uh, I don't know. Right, but like, if someone's clicking Scald into you, true. Like, what do you, what do you want in on that? That's a good point. Yeah, good there's point. just zero Scald switchins. Um, yeah, yeah his offense is a little cool. physically biased, but an Amorous does help a lot in MT. Um, and then just like the speed isn't really good at all. Um, do you think? Full sending on hazards and grabbing Rybombi at eight points for Sticky Web would be good. I mean, he has Orbeetle, but oh yeah. If... I mean, I don't know. I guess like Orbeetle is actually a good ground resist. <laughs> yeah. Um. Because I, I, because he, he's a gra at... he's ground weak too. By the way. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm looking at some of the options at eight points. I don't know what you got there, really. Yeah. yeah, I think it's I think it's still really solid. Just the the hazards plus Golden Go, uh, like the offense is super threatening, obviously, um, and like the pivots are really good. We didn't talk about that, so I, I yeah. don't know. I think we nitpicked a little bit. It's gonna be just like grinding out wins, though. Yeah, I don't know. Garchomp, yeah. Garchomp does a lot of damage. I don't know. It's Let's see. You definitely have to, like, this is definitely, a, like, um, you have to play well with this team. Like, the team's not going to carry you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, you have yeah. To, like... there's, I think there's a couple teams that are a lot more forgiving. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm giving, I don't know, I'm between an 8 and an 8.5. Give it an 8.25. Uh, yeah, I was at, like, a 7.5. Yeah, I'll go 7.5, too. You guys are crazy. You like the... Oh, just the hazards. Boots. Yeah, I guess like force yeah, the fortress. Boots. I'll give I'll give it an eight. Yeah, that's true. Boots exist. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I got some. Buggy D clown. Um. Let's see. Uh, who, who ran the the my electric team last season? That was Osh. Osh, yeah. I I wait. This looks very similar. Yeah, it kind of yes, does. Really yeah. So yeah, obviously a big ground weakness. Um, uh huh. Yeah, that that doesn't even have to yeah, be said. That's... Even he just picked up Chestnut and Claydol, and it's still like bad. <laughs> yeah, and it, this thing still shows it as like being just barely neutral. I don't like it. Um, I will say my my biggest problem with the team came from the draft. And it was taking Alolan Raichu. Was it round two or round three? 
three. I had uh, I had I had talked him out of Alolan Raichu round two. So at least Alolan <laughs> Raichu. I was like, you could probably get it in round four or later, and it was round three. So you can probably get it round twelve. Let's be honest. Uh, maybe. I well, it depends on if someone takes Pincurchin. Yeah. That's like you you have one Coco team, and that's always going to have this, but. I mean, there, there's just a lot of things in this team that are doing the same thing. Like, I don't think you need Mega Blastoise and Tentacruel. Um, it They're depends on if spinning. you're only... If you see Mega Blastoise as only a spinner, then, like, sure. Um, yeah. I... No, I, yeah, I like the Mega Blastoise just for wall breaking. Um, yeah. I think it's fine. Pretty, pretty, are you bringing Blastoise and Tentacruel, you know? Some weeks, sure. I, mean, I guess. Mega Blaster is just like a good mod. Like it's it's underrated for sure. Yeah, um, I mean it's just it, we don't let it shell smash. So oh no no no, no. Yeah, 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 like yeah. that thing would be insane otherwise. But um, yeah. Like that being said. But yeah, just like the speed is not the best. Priority is completely non-existent. Um, like Surge Sur Surfer Raichu helps, but it's still you know obviously not having priority is really really bad. I will say, Tinglu Zapdos is a pretty good defensive floor. Yes, yes, I love that part. Like, yeah. Um, even, even with Chess I mean, they're too. both weak to ice. I guess that's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, yeah, ha well, having Tentacruel in there, like, as, yeah. a, as a trio, I, I think is what really helps it. Um, yeah. Because Cinderbro gets flipped right now, right? It does. Uh, it does it get flipped right, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Um, this team also has quite a bit of hazard removal. Actually, I forgot. Um, yeah, no, the removal yeah. and the setting is really, really good. good. Um, like, that's good. And then the pivots are, like, amazing. He's gonna Insane. Be, yeah, like, really, really great pivots. It um, feels like everything has something. Um, yeah. I mean, speed's obviously, also half his team has Volt Switch, like, but... <laughs> pretty, yeah, speed's pretty good, like... I, I disagree. It's like, all... I mean... I mean, yeah, I mean, you could, Like, since Zeno is not a mod, you're bringing but... a lot, and then, like, Raichu is cool, but it's really not doing that much damage, and then, so outside of those two, like, it's just Coco. And it feels like Coco is a little bit more support on this team, given that it's uh, an electric spam team. Yeah. True. And I'm wondering if you can really afford to be that, like, unpredictable with your, your Iron Crown sets. Because I'm I'm wondering just are you gonna be forced into taking the same set every week or do you like need to run A V or I mean ninety eight um, speed is just not yeah very usable. Well I mean I feel like you're gonna try and it's what agility calm mind is the set. Like weakness policy, agility, sure, stored power, attacking but on. He doesn't really have the support to get it set up. I mean maybe. Yeah. Can you do screens with Coco? Yeah. I like the screens, Coco. Yeah. But then your terrain extender is something you want to kind of invest in if yeah. you're clicking screens, but if you're clicking screens, you want light clay. Well, I think if you're doing screens, I don't think you need... Cause I don't think Crown necessarily needs the terrain up to do what it wants to do. Sure, it's nice, but... but... Yeah. Because it's just... Um, it gives you a little bit more um, time, so to speak. Yeah. To, to pivot in and out with, like, Volt Switch if you want. Yeah. I don't know. It's... I think... Yeah. It's okay. The defense, too, is just, like... I don't know. I think you guys like the Zapdos Tinglu kind of crawl a little better than me. It just kind of seems suspect. Can't exactly seems... put my finger on it. Yeah. If defensively, it's really weak to toxic. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, Tinderful, sure, but... You don't have Heal Bell on this team, either. True. Does Raichu not get Heal Bell? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, but that doesn't Something. count. I mean... What? Good. Does Chestnut not get Aromatherapy? I didn't think it or did. Or not Aromatherapy, though. Maybe it didn't. I thought... It's just one of those weird moves that I figured it got. No. Uh, it doesn't get that, either. Like, you're, you're looking at, like, Refresh on a bunch of things being the only way to remove status. Yeah, that's not worth... No. Yeah. You can technically Wish Pass with Raichu, but... Lumberry. Mm hmm Yeah. I don't know. I just think the synergy is a bit off. Um he also does have a dragon type, which feels very weird. 
no dragon, no ghost, no ice, no rock, but like well, most yeah, of but those are standard. Yeah. 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 Uh, I gave it a six and a half. I gave it a seven. I'll go. I'll, I'll say six. I still don't feel like it's. I don't know. I'll, I'd like to be surprised, but I feel like you'll end up bringing the same team almost every week. I think you could be right there. I. I'm actually worried about Volcarona on this team. But. Yeah. On to the next one. Yeah, Havoc. Havoc. Um, Speaking of bad speed, uh, have, oh, I, I just I, there's just one thing I want to say, yeah, real quick. From round three onwards, Tapu Lele was sitting there for so long. If this thing, if this team had Tapu Lele, we would feel so different about this team. Apparently, it's up for trade, according to Kish. Yeah, it it is, it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, Tapu Lele would be great. Um, yeah. I don't. You don't need like the Sneasler, uh, whatever item, but it's. I, don't, Sne- I guess the like, Sneasler's just not that good without it. Like it's passable, yeah. but it's just like a low, like a mid tier, kind of well, on. I think Dragapult's even better if you have Psychic Drain. Yeah. That's true too. That's a good point. No sucker punch. Yeah. Yeah. No Ice Shard either. True. Yeah. Although he does have a lot of good priority. I will say Entei, Incineroar, um, there's another one I liked. Sneasler gets, no, Dragapult gets sucker It's Gets though. fake out. Yeah. So like his priority is good. Um, but yeah, the speed is just, I just don't like it. Um, having only two things over 100. And like neither of them are all that threatening in my opinion. Dragapult is again more of like a cleaner. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, just you in general, it its offense, even... like, does is not that threatening, you know? Yeah. But... If you want it to sound even worse, there are three things above 85. Yeah, that's not good. And and one of that. them is, oh, is basing off of, like, E-Speed. Yeah, it's Dragapult at 142, yeah, like his, he's at 120. His mid-speed is terrible. Yeah, like, his, like, yeah. he has, like, nothing in the... 90s or 80s or 70s besides circuitry that's really bad circuitry yeah circuitry at 83 corviknight at 67 yeah and then after that like like on circuitry you don't even want to be running much speed EVs. no you might run scarf well he's yeah. running scarf every week yeah i think yeah yeah he you have to, to right well yeah he doesn't really unless like, he's scarf yeah, yeah. um yeah and then I think the biggest problem with this team is his only hazards basically is Stealth Rock's Agron. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's just... Uh, I mean, it is a good setter, but you gotta have I more than that. I think there's a bigger weakness. Yeah. It's, it's not... A, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Agron's not a good setter when you have a Gig- massive ground weakness. Gigantic ground weakness. Yeah, I saw that too. Yep. It's... Oof. Yep, it's pretty bad. A uh, bit of a like, flying I, I, weakness, too. You, you have to bring Corviknight every week just to, like, pray that you don't lose. Yeah. And then, like, Delmize is your other resist? Delmize is good. I think good. Delmize is cool. I think it's cool. I was going to get over Serena. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, and oh, he also like... doesn't have a ground type. So, no electric mm-hmm. immunity. Volt switching all over the place. That's Ooh. really bad for Corviknight. Yeah. So, yeah, well, there's a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, without the ground type, I feel like you want to run Amoongus more than you want to run Delmize. Just because it's... If you don't have an immunity, you may as well have a regenerator mod that kind of yeah. eats it up. That's a good And point. so if you're doing that, you don't want to bring Delmize, which means you're not bringing that as a spinner. Which means maybe Defog Corviknight or Defog on Girder, but you're not bringing Girder basically ever. Yeah. So I I think with the team how it's structured, your real removal is Corviknight, and it has Corviknight's probably one of the mons that I've used most that that wants five move slots mm-hmm. because yeah. you are desperate to have U turn and body press and roost, so you have some longevity, and then you're like, oh, do I want Iron Defense or Brave Bird or Defog or it, it feels really bad some weeks because you need all five like five moves but you can only have four so i, I wish there was something else to, like take the load off 
off of this thing. I feel like this is another one of those teams that's running like the same team every week. So you don't get smacked by like ground types. Yeah. Like you're bringing Corviknight's Knees or Dragon Pool. Agron, potentially. Amoongus. Yeah, there's just a lot of problems. Yeah. I don't love the offense. There's a lot of weaknesses on the defense. Uh, no hazards. Um, I mean, his removal's good, and he's got good pivots. My uh, something I've been looking at is just how easy is it for you to like click knockoff? And yeah. you you have a couple of mods that learn knockoff, but the only one that loves clicking it, I think, is Incineroar. Yeah. Yeah. And... I think it's... I mean, that's it's not a big deal. Like, Incineroar is a great knockoff user. But yeah, I, I can right, say right. little. I, yeah, sure. I, I'm just more so thinking, if you're... I, I don't think, because we listed, what, five Pokemon you're bringing every week? Are you willing to slot Incineroar as that sixth most times? Yeah, I don't see myself every Incineroar with this team over Intake. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I really... So, like... Sorry. I really no, love... No, I was just saying... I... Go, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I, I really love Gudra <laughs> to Shui, obviously, but we just ran through mm -hmm. how he has to bring Corviknight and Mega Aggron every mm -hmm. single week. Yep. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it feels really hard to fit a Gudra when you already have two Steel types and a Dragapult. Yeah. Like, it's yep. just kind of meaningless. But, like, Gudra is also important, though, because it's kind of one of his better offensive mons, in my opinion, or, like, sources of, of wall-breaking power, I would say. Can I also yeah. say it feels like one of its best offensive mons as well, just yeah. type wise. Yeah. But it, it, I don't know if it fits. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. We we should move on, but uh, not a not a good good draft. Greg, you want to give it a rating? Yeah, I give it a five. Oh, okay. That's nice. I gave it a three. I, uh, for I for context. I, I believe that just ended up being the uh, lowest I had given because I didn't work through that whole thing um, about how how problematic some things were. I might drop it more to like a four because I am I, if this was my draft, I'd be stressed every week. Yeah. Alrighty, Phantom. Uh, Greg, want to start? I haven't looked at Phantom in detail yet. Uh, sure. Yeah. Um. This was something where I, when I looked at the, at just the team sheet, I looked down at all the mods, like, oh, I, I like basically all of these. Yeah. Um, which is kind of surprising. Um, and my, my first kind of like nitpick was I was looking at the speed. I wish there yeah. was something between Zero Aura and uh, Latios. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big gap. There's a lot of good mods yeah, in between there. Yeah, it's 143 to 110. Yeah. And um, I was talking so to Phantom earlier, and we were looking at just mods that might be there, and there aren't a lot of great ones left, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. And, and the other so thing is, is... Go ahead, cool. I was going to say, like, you know what Zero War is going to do every week, so it might not even be a... Like, you might not need Dallas Beat it, because it just can't touch you. Can you it? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's got to go, like, Scarf Placephalon or Scarf Latios almost every single week. Which is, is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, both of those are fine. Good. Like they have trick and stuff. Um, although they don't have pivot, so but yeah, it's it's good. Um it, it's not a huge problem, but yeah, it's speed definitely should be better. Um his priority is like fine though. He's got the Mega Mall Wow and then mm -hmm. like I don't know. Uh I guess just like hip on top, is that it? It so for priority, it's hit him on top, uh, Metagross. You have Fake on oh, yeah, Zero Metagross. Aura. Uh, you have Quick Attack technically on Glyscore Umbreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I say technically, right? Um, you Sucker Punch Course that doesn't count, and then it's like Sucker Punch on Mawile. So he has Sucker Punch. Yeah, a lot of stuff on his team gets Sucker Punch. Um, and also I, of all of the teams, I think Phantom is the one most thankful that Dry Passing is allowed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you for sure draft. Oh, Mawile. Well, well uh, it's more top. so, um, just because and stuff Umbreon. like, yeah, they they can actually like pivot now. It's um, ma yeah, it's mainly just Umbreon and and him on top, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, technically glide score, but like that thing is you turn anyway. Yeah, I know. I guess you would only want that if you're running into like a Ferrothorn, but that's. Yeah. Um... I will. I will say his speed is very pursuit weak. Oh. Yeah. Like Latios and Lithop. Like Lithop one's gonna die to any pursuit. It has like negative defense, I think. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I think Larvitar might kill it. Yeah, it's got 53 HP, 52 defense, so. Um, what was another thing I had? So his hazard um, setters are great, um, but his removal I really don't like. Glis you do not want to be running defog and Gliscor because Gliscor struggles so much with its move slots. Yeah. Um, you don't run especially when you're you probably want to run stealth rocks rocks on Gliscor. Uh, most oh it doesn't even yeah it does yeah because like I guess Metagross is a fine rocker but otherwise that's kind of your only other rock option is Metagross. Um, and then, like, Latios, I think, has to run offensive almost every single week, so that's not a good yep. debugger. And then, like, hit him on top is fine, but you don't want to run it, right? So I think I, removal is a bit of a problem, especially for a more defensive team like this. And Weaving is defog too, right? It is not. No. What? It's just, uh, just the Galarian one gets mm -hmm. defog? Interesting. Well, so I... I'm a little higher on hit him on top. Um, I think it's a, like, pretty decent support mon. Um, yeah, I actually think it's good, too. Yeah, so um, you can ship things away with like you have intimidate and fake out, so you're deceptively bulky. It's mm -hmm. good with Umbreon too as a partner. And so th that's why I'm not like I don't think it's as much of an issue, but like if he could get another one or like a different defogger, I think he'd be very happy. Also, you can't uh, run rapid spin and baton pass, or can you can you oh. run it but you just can't click it? I don't know. No, I, I think to make it like. I like as as straightforward as possible. I think not running any moves that can increase stats and put on Ooh, that's just pretty bad. Just, yeah, just so you don't have the accidental situation where you want to, you know. Yeah, that that way you can't like say, "Oops, I didn't know" or anything like that. It's just take that away. Um, yeah, that that's that's a pretty big nerf then, in my opinion. I was gonna ask I, about I, that because I, I was like think, looking at on top for a while. You want to talk against the top Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's really good. I um, one thing on this team that I actually would have loved if he had had was just a trick room setter. Like I think mm -hmm. having Metagross having the, trigger. I thought it didn't. Does it not? I thought I had checked and that it didn't. I mean, all no, nothing I'll gets trick room on this team. Oh, yeah, interesting. I see um, would. Because I I feel like if you're able to just kind of outspeed people with Malwell and Araquidant, I feel like you could just kind of ruin things for a little bit. Like, even if it's just something that you can, um, just to kind of help mitigate that speed problem some weeks. Yeah. I do think there's just a lot of power on this team. Like, there's a lot of threats, right? Yes. Mega yes. Mawile is obviously a huge threat. Latios is a threat. Um, Placephalon's a huge threat. Uh, Bulu can be a big threat with SD. Um, Metagross I, and then Zeror. Yeah, like, there's just a lot yeah, to prep I... for, man. I think Metagross is actually like kind of sneaky good. Yeah. Um, because I think you can. Is there a world where you can? Because what it gets agility, right? Yeah. Can you agility take like a weakness policy something and then just like stored power as well? I I, I don't know how high Metagross's special attack stat is just off the top of my head, but if it's even passable, I feel like you can just kind of it's be a possible. menace. It is base 95, yes, but very passable. Yeah, that, that can do it. Mm -hmm. We uh we ran stored power on Sarah Ledge with the worst stat, if I remember correctly. So, like, it's... This team is also uh, Ghost Week. Yep. Yeah, I just saw the, the only thing that wants to take a Shadow Ball is Umbreon. I guess Umbreon does help a lot, yeah. Um... And well, and then you you can also sustain it too with wish. Mm -hmm. So I I think it is a problem, but yeah. if you're it's taking a, a shadow ball, problem. I think if you're able to threaten it back with like a dark pulse or a crunch or something, I think you're going to win out eventually. Mm -hmm. I also just don't like love the defense. Um, obviously, you bring Gliscor every week, and then outside of that, it's kind of like. If you need a second physical wall, you need Weezing, which is not great. 
and then Umbreon it's, it's and Araquanid are like bulky, especially on the special side, but they're also just kind of like meh. So I don't know. I just like I really don't like the defense. There's just not a lot of options, and the options you have are just not the best mons, in my opinion. It feels like a more offensive team, but it's not very yeah, fast. Yeah, which is weird because like Phantom's playstyle is very balance oriented. Yeah. Well, I I would argue that that is also Phantom now drafting on his own as opposed to drafting with Brittany. Maybe, yeah. Maybe he'll play more offensive. Um, yeah, because when we did tournaments together, like we often would just do like hyper offense and like UU brews and stuff like that, or like nat decks. Sure. Um, so I I think this does kind of like fit his style to a, a certain degree, though. Yeah. All right. I don't see a lot of like too many problems though. Um, I guess yeah, the removal, but let, like the offense is super threatening. Um, and it's just like good mons, you know. Yes. Yeah. So. I go like seven and a half. I think. I'll give it an eight. I, I initially was at nine, but I think I'm at an eight and a half now. Yeah. All right. All right. VV. VV. Uh, I really like this team. The really? speed is great. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, the speed is solid. like good, not great. Uh, but the actual the priority is like actually insane. Probably the best in the draft. You got mm -hmm. the Greninja, Water Shuriken, and Sucker. You got Scissor, which is a great option. You've got uh, e -speed. Mega. S yeah, you got E Speed on uh, Dragonite, which is like insane. And you got Mega Gallade with Shadow Snake. Ice Shard. Yeah, you got. Yeah. Like this priority is great. I love that. Um, and then, like. The defense is just very solid. There's a lot of different options. It's a lot. There's a lot of like bulky mods you can put in a defensive role, and they'll do really well. You know, uh, like Tinkaton, Quillfish, obviously Dawn Fan, Scissor can run like AV, uh, and then like Tropicos I think is a really good mod. Uh, obviously the Scream Tail, like his 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 defense hits pretty hard, and it does things like set up rocks or spikes or, or to toxic spikes and i just think it works really well this is a really balanced team yeah like i feel like all the mons are pretty versatile yeah like, i don't sure. know what, i don't know i don't know what they could bring every week so i think i think out of all the teams this looks the most or one of the hardest ones to prep for to find, i guess yeah the pivots are like pretty nice too um i would say like Probably my biggest gripe is just like the special offense is lacking. You've got like Greninja, but it's not that powerful, and then Kilowattrol. And yeah, pretty much runs there. Too. Oh, uh, yeah, but I think it's more defensive. But yeah, you're right, actually. That's a good point. Terra Starstorm is that's gonna hurt regardless. Yeah, that's one, that's that's is that 120? True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. And you could run, you could run offensive screen tail too. No, you can't. <laughs> no, I don't think you can. I think it's Calm Mind. Um, I, I mean, just... Yeah, I don't know, man. I just... I don't see a lot of problems with this draft. It's kind of really good. Greg, you got any problems? There's a bit of a ground weakness. Okay, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I honestly... I wasn't a fan. Really? Um, it could, It could just be... That like I've been burned by some of this before, or I I I don't see the vision like in my head, like I when I when I was looking at this, I saw that the speed was good, and I didn't love some of the defensive options. Like I know you say they they hit hard. Um, let me just make sure I'm not on something and just pull this up one more time. Like he doesn't um, have a lot of super bulky stuff. But it's not mm -hmm. meant to be a balanced draft. It's meant to me a, be a bulky offense draft. Yeah. And wow. I just think I love the utility and the the pivoting and the just like he has no he has no um, pivot sinks. Like he's gonna be putting on pressure every single turn, you know, because either he's gonna be setting up rocks or he's gonna be like clicking like a good on hammer on the AV Tinkaton, you know. So I I think you're right. I I agree with all of the things you've said. Um, so it's a great draft. I, it's it's not me. Like I I look at this and I I see 
I, I I don't think of like, hey, when this goes well and like this can all work really really well together. I I look at this and I think I wish there was like one or two things on there that were just like more of a wall and not just like oh AV Tinkaton or like sure like Scream Tell what it's it's extremely high health or something like that. I wish there's like something that's just like hey I'm I'm fat I'm gonna sponge up the hit and then either I will like slow pivot out or something or you know like if it was like but a he has that too he has like a cool fish that can take almost any physical hit um <sighs> like scream kill can take I don't any think hit you need like walls on this team I think yeah I think they're good I think I, like yeah I it's like, I I acknowledge this is a, a play style it is not a play style that I particularly like or that I'm good at identifying how to have a, a great draft with it. I would say, so like, I, yeah. I was, like, surprised at how much I liked the team. Because at first glance, I don't like a lot of the mons individually. I'm really not a fan of Mega Gallade at all. I think it's just, like, it gets outsped. Um, and it doesn't do much. I really I don't like team. Greninja for the point value. Um, and then, I don't know, Kilowattro I've never liked. Haunter, I think, is, like, useless. Um, but otherwise, I, I don't know. And, like, Scream Tail is just weird. But... Uh, it works. There's there's no problems. Like you, I don't know. I maybe maybe I'm caught up in, like I like some of the individual mods, but I don't know how it's going to actually fit together. Like I I feel like if I had, if we had more time between draft start and now, and I if I had played like a couple games of this or tried to team build with it, I could probably figure like oh what this is good, but like there there's something that's like run away. And I, if you guys are both saying it's good, then I must be crazy. Um, but there, there's just something that kind of, I, I don't necessarily like it. Yeah. You know, it's like when, when you, you just can't tell. But there's also like the, there's no fire type, there's no grass type, there's no ice type. Yeah, I don't like the no fire, no grass either. But yeah. then again, like, I can't find any weaknesses outside of ground. So, like, it's not a problem in theory. Say, um, this this feels like my team from the last RPL season. And... Can I maybe Ghost? If it's not Terrapagos? I mean, Terrapagos like, if... is just about the yeah, best ghost switching in the game. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. And then, like, two of your ghost weaknesses are Haunter and Bronzon, which, or Bronzor. Yeah, no, which no you're not... that's very fair. That's very fair. Also, he has the two multi scale users on the same team. is yeah. disgusting. God. Yeah, it's yeah. just like. Man, he's gonna be so. His team is so built for those quick, like twenty turn games. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. This team's just I, gonna be like pivot around you until you're broken, and then. I kind of see it. DD, DD, or SD or something, and then that's game. Yeah, I gave it a nine out of ten. I like it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a nine and a half. I think this is really, really good. Uh, yeah, before this talk, I had it at a five, and I will oh at this point. God. I will. <laughs> I, I didn't like it. I didn't <laughs> see the vision. I didn't see the vision. I I'm going to refrain from, like I would probably put it at a seven because I don't trust it just yet. I agree. And I think I, there's I, like I, some maybe like some like things that look suspect that could be problems that I'm just not like fully like, realizing. This is a team at at the at the end of the season just ping me in the discord and, and laugh finals. at me laugh at me and say your team sucked i was better and well, I, like, i'll be like you know what like this is my I'll annual podcast statement of i i really feel like how good someone draft is someone's draft is does not impact play that much i think the difference between mm. like a pretty good draft and a pretty bad draft in terms of win loss is is not that big i think just like playing well and prepping well matters a yeah. lot more. Yeah, I think I think prep will can fix a lot of problems or cause a lot of problems. Um, so I I think I I think this will be an unforgiving draft though. I think this one has to be played very well. true. No, so, what? I think this is a very forgiving draft. You think? Oh yeah, I feel like I feel like with the like, again like with double multi scale and everything. I yeah plus yeah. plus priority like on everything priority, you're lot... not getting swept. Yeah. I'm a, I'm afraid of you have so much recovery over yeah. time. I guess you have scream tail. I don't know. I don't know. This this draft doesn't make this it doesn't I don't I don't play like this so I, I haven't done it before. This seems like so Greg. Like it, it will. I cuz I'm not going to know how to prep for this. <laughs> that that's the thing. I'm hoping I don't play this because I, I this this is got to be good. Like right. if, 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 if I don't see it, you guys do. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's move on. Okay. <laughs>
Greg or uh, uh, Jim Jim Leader Brawl, Peter. Uh, go ahead, Greg, because I I didn't have a chance to look at this. Um. All right. Uh, let's see. I when I was looking at this team, um, I wish there is like one mon between one ten and one thirty, like just one more. Yeah, I actually because really don't I was, like the speed at all. Because I, go ahead. I was worried that the best, like the your best six on a a week by week basis aren't going to be super fast. I think what's going to end up happening is you're going to have Dio speed and you're going to run Keldio at basically most weeks. Yeah. And then after that, I don't know if you're bringing Crobat every week. Yeah. I just don't... And then you have such a big gap. So, like... He's obviously bringing Shell and Hydrapple every week. Regenerated for. Yeah. It's like... Crobat hardly even counts just because it just isn't an offensive mod, really. It's more support. Um, it can run like Bandit and do some things, but it's just not great at it. Um, yeah. Obviously, that, deal yeah, speed is, is good, but again, it's more of a cleaner, or you're running support on it too, or like a suicide lead. Um, so yeah, it's like Caudio. Um, I don't know. I will say, though, he has like two really good, or three really good Scarpers, and Mian Shao, Rotom Heat, and Mamo Swine, so that and even Tyrantrum, mm -hmm. you could... Or, I, yeah, even, I think Tyrantrum, Scarf. Even Magneton. I don't know. This is like the Scarf team. He, like, everything can run Scarf on this draft, almost. Yeah. Um. So, like, I will say I mean, that helps a little bit. I think game is going to be absolutely stupid, though. With Pursuit and... Uh, oh, God. Knock don't, even and rem punch. don't even remind me. I'm, that's going to be a nightmare to deal with. Yeah. Um. um removal's not great you want to scarf rotom but that thing is your best defog option yeah because your, your hazard removal is rotom and crobat and i don't like that they're both weak to rocks too oh yeah um, well, you, have, you have magic guard clef um gambit resists rocks Kelby resists. i mean yeah, yeah maybe maybe crobat's coming every week to defog i don't know uh that is a bit rough mm -hmm. Um, he does have Stealth Rocks in every single Pokemon he drafted, so that's that's nice. That's true. Yeah. All all twelve for sure. Um, Close. Yep. Oh, actually, of uh, this team has a lot of good knockoff users that you actually want to bring. It feels so spammable on this team. You just say your boots are gone. That is very true. Your choice items gone. Oh, that's big fan. Yeah, I can see. Um, it. Um, and then really, weaknesses aren't too bad. Maybe a fighting weakness. Um, really. you have a couple fairy problems potentially. Mm -hmm. Like your your defensive core of like like your regenerative core is weak to fairy. Yeah. Um. What else? Um, you don't love flying types either. Um, yeah. It feels it feels like Rotom. Rotom's been a lot for the team. Yeah. Yeah, like, I I totally agree. It's so stressed. It it's uh, it has to be defensive, I think. Right. Yeah. You can't run Scarf yet. You gotta run defense. You gotta run Boots Defog every single week. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, it's like Hydrapple is coming every week, and obviously Clefable. I think you want to run Wish Clefable most weeks. No, this is more of a bulky no. offense. I think? No. I don't think you want Wish no, not everyone plays like you, Greg. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just thinking, right? That, like, if you have to run Boots on Rotom, if you need that thing to stay alive to be able to keep taking hits... Well, you know, you if you just bring wish. offensive Pokemon, you don't need to stay alive forever. <laughs> I, I, guess. Think, I think the only thing you'd wish to is Rotom, because I think everything else, Every, is, everything else is fine. Yeah. It's taking and getting knocked back. Do you ever run Shelf Smash Torterra on this thing? On this team? Good. Yeah, it can be defensive or offensive. It's just like. Yeah, the defensive options are suspect, I would say. And then, like, the speed is suspect, but he does have, like, a lot of. Well, I wouldn't say a lot of threats, but he's got, he's got like, some threats. This is also one of those one of those teams though where it does make sense to us, but 
Jimmy Brawl is one of the best battlers we've had in the league, so. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm wondering if just how this team's gonna end up being, or it'll it'll be fine against like some of the weaker teams in terms of power. But I'm wondering if it'll struggle if there's like a, a team later on that just has like two or three heavy hitters that it can't just kind of like Weather. live through regeneration, like through regenerator or something. Like that's that's kind of what I, I was worried about when I was first looking at this. Yeah. I'll give it I think I'll give this team like I think Gambit will do a lot. I I, I definitely can see this team I, like I really don't like Gambit. Going five definitely. down and then Gambit comes back and sweeps. Uh maybe. I give it a seven and a half. I just there's not a whole yeah, lot that like really impresses me. I think it'll work, but it's just not really threatening and the defense is not that good and He's got the yeah. removal problem, and he only has stealth rocks. Uh, you have Dio speed spikes. Yeah, but that's like your offense. Is it? Well, it's like, like it's at least a good speed. Yeah. I thinking about this now. If you're playing Dio speed as like a, a borderline suicide lead, of just like set screens or set rocks, then maybe you would have wanted a ghost type to keep the. Uh, keep up the hazards but just a spin block i initially had this at an eight i'm probably dropping it to a 7.5 yeah that's what i have Alrighty, mooney money woo mooney um speed is really speed is like okay but it's really clustered he's got the 110 cluster and I don't know if I count Arrow either. Yeah, well, Arrow, eh, it half counts. Like, it's better than Crobat, but it's still not great. Um, Let's take a look. Interesting. And then, this team has hazards. Yeah. The hazards are... Well, they're fine. Yeah. Um, yeah it's, it's like one of those, like, balanced teams where a lot wrong with it, but I mean, or or, or uh, wow, or Shikiku is always gonna be pretty good. Yeah, that, yeah. The, that helps his priority oh, a lot too. Hoopa. Do you need Urshiko and Hoopa though? Um, but yeah, he but he doesn't. The, the the main gripe I have with this team is his, his all his offense is like physical, pretty much, mostly. Um. So I think yeah. Hoopa is nice if you're running special Hoopa, but I don't I don't know Hoopa you you want to run physical like most of the time or at least half the time. Um, so I, I kind of don't like that. Um, and then I feel like you're maybe running offensive Lottie or Nine Tails at some point too, as like that might be your best bet, right? Well, yeah, but that's, that's like that's, a, have, that's his right? wall. Like Lottie is his special wall, dude. We're looking at yeah. defense. I mean, I guess Toad Scroll, maybe Lantern, and then yeah, the other thing I really don't like is that his only physical wall is Ferrothorn. All of his defense is specially oriented. You know? Yeah, that's a really good point. Like, yeah, like, no like if you if I've got his offense, which is physically oriented, all I got to do is break through the Ferrothorn, which is already quad weak to remove and doesn't have recovery, and you know, I'm sweeping. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's a pretty fundamental flaw. Just like the Does defense Sarah in general is fire? not good. It hmm. does get flash fire. Hmm. Yeah, Sarah Ledge gets flash fire. I feel like you could very easily throw just like spam fire moves in this team. Because I feel like the Pokemon that want to take fire moves don't want to take fire moves like a lot. I mean, yeah, yeah just Latias, really. Um, Sterilize will take it if you're running Flash I mean, Fire. Sure, but then it's not the fastest like to swap into, depending on like what the matchup is. Yeah, no, sure. I agree. Um, it's pretty weak, too. But... And he's Ice Weak, too. Yeah. Um, let's see, to Lottie and Arrow and Toad Scroll. Yeah. Lantern needs to be big on this team. Yeah, Lantern's a big to... bring. And I do like Lantern a lot. I think it can do it. Um, but 
yeah, definitely not ideal to be relying on a lantern for your fire and ice switch-ins. Yeah. I, I feel like a Veil should help this team quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, Veil gets the Urshifu and the Ogre Pond set up in a Sarah Ledge. Um, and it helps Rupa stay in for a little bit longer. And Toxtricity, even. Yeah, I don't know. Yep. The, 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 the offense is, like, very threatening, especially with Veil. I, I do agree. Uh, like, and he's just got a lot of options, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but them, almost all of them being physically oriented is not ideal. But, yeah, I don't know. It's... It's okay. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's... I think it'll have to be, like, hyper-offense. Yeah. yeah. It really doesn't like, look like it. He's got a good setup with a lot of stuff, He's so... got a great setup. Yeah. It's just the, def like the defense. Yeah. yeah. I think it'll be really easy to break through Ninetales, though. Yeah. Ninetales is almost like your best physical wall some weeks. Terrifying. After oh, Veil yeah. in Snow, maybe. I mean, yeah, that's true. It is actually, it's... yeah, I mean, I it is actually a pretty good physical switch in, but it obviously you don't want to like get it chipped down, so you have to be very cautious about it. Um, yeah. yeah. Can you afford to run? Like, you can wish pass with Lottie this time, right? Like, I think this one actually might work. Maybe. Like you're. Part of the reason why it's not as bad this time is because you get baton pass. You're not because I know you don't get flip turn like Latios does. Yeah. Um. Maybe. All right, I gave it a seven and a half. I give no, it. A seven. I give it a seven and a half. Nice. Bart. Bart. Too. Bart. Yeah, the speed is nice. It's Although, yeah, it's really solid. yeah, and then, but his his only priority pretty much is low punny, which isn't the worst thing. Low punny is pretty great priority if you run it, which you should be. You uh, also get first Quackie. impression on Flygon. Uh, yeah. Okay, sure, that counts. So I will say, uh, I did like an off league with um, Boonty uh, that was hosting it, and the first three that I drafted were these like first three and it's such an insane core. I love it. Like, I really do. Chill your reception into Kiram so you get the defense boost you can set up. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Yeah, I didn't think about that. That is nice. I just think it's it's a very threatening draft. There's a lot of immediate power. Low Pony Kiram, Thundy T, Volcanion, uh, yeah. you know, like, yeah, amazing to this, like you It's said. just a hard prep, and then you got the Zoroark you gotta always be worried about. Um, yeah. This is the first time I haven't been, like, unhappy with someone having, like, three water types on a team. Because I feel like Quagsar, Milotic, and Vulcanian aren't, like, the exact same mon. Yeah. No, no, they, they do very different things. It, like, I, yeah, and so I'm, I'm happy with it. I think Sceptile helps this team, too. Um, that's why I I had forgotten that uh I remembered Glow King got Chili for Kiram. I forgot that that's maybe what you're doing with Sand Slash too. Cause that gets does that get Slush Rush if I remember correctly? Uh yes. yeah. So oh I didn't think about that. I think, yeah. Interesting. Uh, but Sand Slash is kind of also there to spin, I think, which is like yes. his removal is is not great. Like not you ideal, do not yeah. want to run Defog on Volcanion. You do not want to run Defog on Thundee. Klefki can run Defog, but it's very pressured in its moveset. It's probably your Defogger most weeks. And it's, so it's kind of either that or Sand Slash. So yeah, it, I think the removal is like definitely one of the worst in the league. One of the worser in the league. Yeah, because you're also not running it on Flygon. Do, do you kind of want other Thundee on this team? Potentially? Um, yeah. I? This is Volt Absorb, right? Yeah, Thunder T. Well, Thunder T has more special attack. Yeah. Uh, but Thunder you get Pranks, Pranks, Pranks or T-Wave is... Yeah, I think the Pranks yeah. or T-Wave would be... Uh, you, you already have Pranks or T-Wave. You have a Yeah. yeah no, I think, I think regular Thunder is, is a good I, prank. I like, I like it here. 
I like this one. He also this doesn't really good. have... Uh, well, he's got Scarf Volcania and, and then Scarf Thundee T, so... Yeah. I was going to say, uh, Scarf the other Thundee yeah. is also 111 speed, so... Yeah. It's a little faster. I think you're fine because you have Zoroark at 110, you have Sceptile at 120. Yeah. Like I think you're okay with that. And then I think Flygon can just click Dragon Dance as well and you're kind of chilling. Yeah. The only other thing I'll say is there's no Dark type and he only has yes. one Psychic Resist. So that's pretty mm -hmm. bad. Or two technically with Sand Slash, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty bad. Those his, are... His I ghost... would love to have a Dark type for this. Yeah, so yeah. his Ghost immunities are also very offensive and so yeah if they're yes. swapping in to and you get caught wrong if you get caught with a psychic or a dark pulse or something like that then yeah which i mean it's also it was like the illusion that plays in too so that's that's interesting i think part of it too is when i look at this team i don't think you ever feel bad clicking knockoff into because, it yeah yeah um, like, sure, like, it's not going to do a lot to Lopunny, but that's not super strong anyway, so it'll still do decent damage from, like, an actual, like, knockoff threat. And then you could just accidentally kill a Zoroark. Or, you know, something like that. Yeah. Um, and I think he's running boots a lot, too, because his removal is not good. The can you... Hmm? Like, can you actually run boots on some of these things? I mean, right? Yeah. Like, you can run it on. Well, so you can run it on G King. Yeah, you can run on Kiram. That's what makes it good. Uh, well, I mean, I, I was just thinking, couldn't you? Wouldn't you maybe want like loaded dice? Why? Or well, something? No, Kira, Kira I think, I think... boots like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And then Thundee T can run boots if it's not Scar Volcanian is a good yeah. boots user. Yeah, he's got boots. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a good draft. Like I think we're kind of nitpicking. I, I absolutely. I think the removal um, and like, and then the defense like just there's not a lot of options. Like he's got Milotic Quagsire, but those are a little similar. And then I don't know, like saying like, and then Slow King is good, but yeah, it's kind of maybe screens Klefki to help some of that, but yeah, it's not the best. But no, it's a it's a good draft. Freeze dry week, maybe. Yeah. Uh huh. Most drafts are, but yeah. This one sense. in particular. But no, I give this. I give it. An, I'll say a nine. I think it'll be fun to like see how it operates. Give it eight and a half. I mean, I'm yeah. going from. I had an eight initially. It's eight point five for me now. I think. Yeah. This I think is already like, one of my favorite ones. Yeah, I think you can drop a few things and get a dark type. Maybe. Um, Hamkus. Right. I didn't get a chance to look at this. No? I see not the best speed. This looks like a Gen 7 or Gen 8 draft team with ready. Yeah. Ready. So, I think this team might rely on Sticky Web. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. don't like that. I love Sticky Web as an option. Oh, I don't. Like, we're... <laughs> Like I love being able, like, oh, hey, like this is a this is a problem. Like this is just, I can just barely not outspeed this one thing. I have it. This perfect. I don't like it if your options for speed are two hundred at Regieleki, which does basically nothing, or one ten from Lycanroc. That's the drop off. I that scares me. Yeah, I agree. Um, he really doesn't have any speed set up either outside of Garchomp. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. And even his Scarfers, maybe like Lycanroc, Galvantula, but uh, it's kind of slim pickings in terms of like getting mm -hmm. a, like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess the Regilecki is like fine as kind of like a revenge, like anti-sweep mon, but... It gets walled by Palisand. Yeah. Yeah. As in, like it, it actually cannot touch it. It's just, it's. I know no one has it, but it's like, it scares me. I, I've, I've used it, and it really scares me. Um, 
But yeah. I will say too, mm -hmm. his team isn't necessarily ground weak, but his two like he's it's either gonna be Yuxi or Mana Buzz. I feel like those are very easy to play around. I love Mana Buzz, honestly. I, I think it's too. a good mon. I'm really mad I didn't. It is. Um I am worried about hazard removal. I know there's like options. I think he's fine. I think but... Mana Buzz is a pretty go to defogger. Yeah. I think it's a Hawk, great defogger. Hawk, Hawk Hawk is is a good yeah. I think, do I do think you actually bring fun. defog on Conk at all? Good. I feel like I feel like you very easily could run like mock yeah. punch, strain punch. It is kind of weird because Stone if you're running defensive Conk, you're usually running dra uh, AV, and obviously you can't do mm -hmm. AV defog. Uh, that's true. Right. And then, as I would argue, I'm the biggest cryogonal fan out of the three of us. Yeah. yeah. I I, I don't think it's that. very good. No, it's not. <laughs> Just as... It's so much better yeah, no, Terra. actually, I can kind of see it. Like, besides Mandibuzz, his removal is kind of not much. Yeah. I I tried having Cryogonal as a, like, primary spinner one season. There's a reason I basically always make sure I try to have one nowadays. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's great. I think like I, I think you 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 can afford to run defog mandibuzz every week though. Like I yeah. think mandibuzz, yeah. what I mean, defog you, roost, foul play, U turn, yeah, stuff like that. Like or throw toxic on there and drop one. But I mean, I could see like screens, rabbit spin, Reggie. Mm-hmm. Actually. I don't uh, think it's doing much else for this team. I do like yeah. the hazard setters. Yuxi is a very, very good rocker. Heatran's mm -hmm, a good yeah. rocker. Garchomp can run rocks really well some we some weeks. Uh, obviously, he's got the Galvantula. And then, yeah. So, I like his hazards. Um, I don't know. The immediate power is kind of there, too. Like, Sylvia and Conk... Uh, Garchomp's like a big I didn't, threat. Like, Lycan Rope's really, really strong. I guess it's not I didn't like. I the immediate crazy. Like, damage calcs, but, but. Yeah, he doesn't really have any setup, does he? I, I think it's just barely there. You know? Like, I think it's just barely threatening. But, like. Like I said, this is literally a Gen 7, like. Yeah. I, I think it got. This team got power crept. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. I think what it was. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Um, I don't think it'll be bad. I just don't think it'll. Um, I think I think it really depends on the the battler and the prep. Well, so I don't know if you think this is a problem, but this was just an observation I made. Your some of your best spe your best special power is Heatran, Mega Venusaur, and Sylveon. Okay. You kind of like running those defensive. I won't say every week, but at least I don't know half the weeks. Run defensive and still do a lot of damage, though. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I'm just worried uh, of like, oh. I mean, it well, just he has a lot of defensive. Mons. Still defensive. He just needs another fast offensive mon or two. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Yeah. Like I, I see the idea is to help bridge some of that with sticky web, but. I don't think that it works since heavy duty boots came out. Yeah, I agree. Um, Seems also just, like spun on very easily because I don't think you're bringing Jellicent very often. I like Jellicent as a mon, honestly. Water absorb ghost type. Yeah, he, he doesn't have the best physical wall either. Um, it's your best water resist as well, other than well, it's like that in Venusaur, right? Yeah, it's not terrible. And I feel like Venusaur needs like a little bit of help in the just like being a wall department. Like I, I think it's great at what it does. It wants a little bit, like one more, like one other thing that can help take the load off of it. That way, it can afford to invest a little bit in special attack or something. Yeah. Also, again, as a theme, kind of goes weak with Mandibuzz being only resist. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know what? You know what? Fukuoka would look amazing on this team. Hmm. Would be Mega Law Puppy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> Wait, actually, yeah. Would you would you swap like Regilecki for it? Like, if points were of no issue. Yeah, I think that's what you do. Oh yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. Shady can't run two megas. I'll give it like a seven. I gave it a seven. I think I think this is definitely. I think it's a seven and a half. Yeah. I don't think there's a lot of like glaring issues. It's just not threatening. Yeah. This if we went in a time machine and went back two years, this would be like a nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we would be accusing them of collusion to get this draft too. This team probably make wouldn't be would make available points wise. You know, so it, it, would, it wouldn't be possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I think what two years ago, three of those mons would be gone in the in the top in like what round one, maybe. Garchomp. Heatran maybe Mega Venusaur. Yeah. Well, Garchomp is like better now. Uh, skill shot. Skill Garchomp, shot. was never bad. Let's be yeah, well, no, it was never it's, bad, it's, but it wasn't quite a round one pick. Like in Gen Seven. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to remember what is on the board at the top to see if it is just there by default. All right. Anyway. Uh. Cool. Draft. So uh, I did make two transactions right before this. Oh yeah, I don't um, have that. What did you do? Yeah, I dropped. Gyarados and Miss Magius for a Lola Nook and Azumarill. You also made the Munchlax for Miltank yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. as points. Um, I love this team personally. I I went into it. I think I like messaged Greg like very early on. I was like, I'm getting Necrozma. I don't know if I'm doing it round two or three. But I, I, I really want a first round pick from what yeah, you were talking I, about. I really want to use it. I think it's amazing. It probably is undervalued a little bit. Just because of how versatile it can be, um, and then along the same vein, I've always wanted to use Kamal, and they both do the same thing. I think they're both probably the, like two best setup now, or one or some of the best setup mods in the, in the draft. Um, and then getting or Orthworm later, um, I realized it fits the team so well, just because they can shed tail into either one of those things set up and then go from there. I'm honestly yeah, not yeah, big on value. shed tail Orthworm. I think it's really hard to get a slow shed tail off where you don't take more I, than 50%. Um, just put shed and tail. also, like, shed even tail if you do minus 50, get it right? off, you can't do it yeah. again, really. You no. know? But I, think, I, I, I much I prefer think... fast shed tail. Yeah. I don't know. I, but I think Orthworm is a good mon anyway. Like having a a steel that's ground immune is just good, and it's like a really good rocker and a good defensive wall. You heal off of ground type moves, correct? With yes. Earth Eater. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, think maybe that's how you're regaining health. It's just you hope they click Earthquake, but I don't know if they want to click. I don't. I don't necessarily like see using it. Napoleon. I only. Like it in if the game plan goes like to plan, I think I'd only need to click it once anyway, because I think at that point I should be cleaning up. But that's only if Fair. I bring that strat. But so your only priority know... now, sorry, your only priority now is Azu, um, right? Uh, no, I have Azu. I technically have Shadow Sneak on Muck. Mm -hmm. uh, Kamal gets Vacuum Wave. Yep. No, it doesn't count. Uh, and Polion gets oh, Vacuum Wave. Okay. Uh, right. Como Vacuum Wave counts. Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I think Empoleon, if you um, if you're no. trying to run it offensively into like if you know that Instant Aurora or something with Intimidate is coming, if you can get the competitive boost off, I think Empoleon could be threatening. Okay, so priority is like still it's maybe okay. a slight problem, but it's yeah. it's it's passable. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just uh, I don't love. I don't. I just don't think it's the most threatening draft. Komo needs a lot to get going. Uh, I've never really seen Ogre Paw on Hearth Flame do anything. Uh, Torrenty is a great mon, but it's not hitting hard. Um, and then like Azu is good, but it also can be walled. Like it's not going to carry your offense. So I don't know. I just. I think you're really going to struggle to break through. I Ogre think your eggs has mold breaker, so yeah. Like I, I do realize the setup is pretty good, um, yeah. but 
I think you're really banking on trying to get somehow in, into Orthworm into yeah. one of your setup mods to like yeah. win the game yeah, right it feel, there. It feels like a lot to like get your setup up. You know, it's kind of a hard team to play. I mean, I think they're also versatile too. Like, I could run Screams from Cosma. I could run AV Camo. Yeah. Um. Did you fix your rocks problem? Oh yeah, you're fine. Oh no, you didn't yeah. have a rocks problem. Um. I forget. There was something else. Like a a certain type weakness or something that there that no. there was. Um. And then yeah, your removal was like fine. Deep and Polyon and Weezing are both great defoggers. Um, yeah. Not a whole lot of problems, I see. Just besides, like, the power. Yeah. I think Ogre Pond will be really good. I, I want to be wrong about Ogre Pond, but with this form in particular, I have not been super impressed without access to Terra. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Um yeah, I feel like it's very troll. Did you want to draft it last season? It yeah. Um so it's been taken like every season it's been available and then it's done basically nothing. Yeah. So I'm I think Moldbreaker is great in theory. But what it's going to be doing for you is getting around Sap Zipper are getting around, like, um, flash fire, okay. and uh, um, unaware as well. Oh yes, yes. That I think that might actually be the big one. How did I forget about that? Yeah. But did a lot of the unaware uh, Pokemon actually get taken? Quagsire, not much and else. Quag, Skeletor didn't. Um, Clodsire didn't. Yeah, I don't think. Don Dozo did. No, I don't think yeah. they did. I just, I don't know, man. It kind of feels like Greg's draft, where it's like I just don't see the offense. Um, just it it just could be better, right? Yeah. But uh, the the one really great thing I will say is that you've got like zero type weaknesses somehow. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> um, you you like always do this, honestly. You always like. I I scour the. Yeah, I, I, it 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 bothers me to like look at the type chart and see like the red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked it's like that too because I, uh, what? Yeah, two like you type, would think two yeah. poison types, triple water. Well, not really. I don't care. I don't count Wooper. Yeah, Wooper doesn't count. Yeah, pitch. But even without Wooper, it's still. Yeah, even with yeah. yeah. You should you should get like a real, uh, zero point mod. <laughs> Well, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wooper is, is yeah, wonderful. No, it is not. It's, I've, I, made, a, I've it, made a list. <laughs> on didn't, a it, didn't it get a... Uh, did you get the kill with counter last season or no? No, it didn't. I was so mad. Uh, you should have let it take more damage. He tried. He really did. Yeah. Anyway, I, I still like it. I gave it eight and a half. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I think seven and a half. I I really, really? wanted this team. I I really wanted this team, or wanted a team that could like um, reward good pro. And so I think this team rewards good pro. Uh, granted, this that rating was from before the Mega Gyarados drop. I mean, and all that. I would I would say this team is more play. Like it's I think this team is sweepable. Um, because your priority isn't great and you're not putting on a ton of pressure. I think I think, I think it's bulky enough. Maybe. I think most weeks it's gonna feel like you're under pressure to have to make the right play as opposed yeah. to. We'll see. Yeah, I I feel like. If you, well, granted, I think if you play like you've been playing the past couple seasons, like I think you'll be fine. But yeah, I think if there's like a week or something that kind of something's off or like they bring an unexpected set that you just didn't know was possible or like you can't prep for everything, like I think it could. 
I think I, I think you're gonna be. Oh god. I think you're gonna be playing like a chess match where your mons are going down left or right, and you have to find your checkmate. Yeah. You know, like you yeah. you really have to like see the game ahead of time and understand your win con because you do have win cons, you do have setup, mm-hmm. but it's gonna be really hard to win the early and mid game. You're probably gonna be behind into the late game most weeks. I, I agree. That's what I'm saying. Like I think I'll have to definitely do a lot of prep. Yeah. Um, but I think I think that's totally fun. It's one of the one of the drafts you need to mock like twenty times and then you know exactly what your team exactly. can do. Okay, Lax. The fire team. Sun team. Oh god. Um I've noticed the visual did a thing where it duplicated wrong. Uh oh. Uh Ben, Sorry, do you have notes on this? I don't. It looks solid at first glance. Obviously, Chi Yu Sun can't go wrong. I don't really like Ninetales at all as a sunsetter. Um, because, like, you're just. It's just so chippable. Um, you don't have any recovery. You're not bulky like Torkoal is. Uh, and you really don't do anything defensively besides set up Sun. Like, Torkoal at least can spin, set up rocks. Ninetales is, I guess, clicking a powerful move, but you really want to get in, get out. There's a good baton pass. It might. What? Ninetales. Ninetales. Um, I feel like it, I always feel like it does, and then I look and it doesn't. Let's see. It does. It does. That's really it does. Nice. It does. Okay. That that yeah. saves a little bit for sure. You know. Um, you know what else gets baton pass on this team? Hat. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. Because Hatterene, when I ran it, obviously I love Hatterene. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But it kind of feels like, unless you're clicking Calm Mind, you're not doing a lot. The only Nuzzle. other like option is Nuzzle, yeah. But like n- now you can run Nuzzle Baton Pass, and you don't need Calm Mind. Yeah. So, yeah, I do like that. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is another one of those, like, like class Ganon teams. I feel like you're sitting up Sun... Clicking overheat, clicking whatever walking weak moves it is. So he's only got one chlorophyll, right? Yeah, and that's Venusaur. Venusaur. Yeah. And um, then you're looking at like wake, and I think technically the, the where you get the most value is specs. Max speed plus specs, I think, is technically your highest damage boosting. Where you you have your proto speed plus choice specs, um, how are you procking unburden on Halucha? That's close yes, combat. Hmm. I I think it's close combat. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Uh, not ideal. I I don't love that. Um, but I in in a way it gives you a bit more control, like taking the positive spin on it like you mm-hmm. you have to click the move first so you instead of like oh i need to go halucha because of i don't know like i need to res- to immune this ground move or something but like um, it feels like that could just be another chlorophyll mon and it would be better but i don't know it, it's it's fine does hack it like reliable recovery you know no training kiss Draining, well not really yeah. yeah i was gonna say his Defensive book one are easily worn down. Well, yeah, it's definitely um, a bulky offense team. But, like, Mel Metal is a great bulky wall. Hatterene. Deancey, I really like. Um, so, like, I think I think for the type of team style it is, even Rhyperior, I think it, it can work. I don't... I guess, like, Mel Metal runs AV. Yeah. Can't. It's he, His options are a bit limited. I can see it. Uh, one thing that I noticed, if you're running Sun... Your priority is almost non-existent because um, um, your well, Pinsir, Aqua Jets. I get Cronaut, yeah. Yeah, but um, Pincer's like great priority with quick attack. Yeah, yeah. I, I said almost non-existent, right? Because it's like it's Pincer, but then you're also in a in Sun, so it's it's Pincer dies like, or or whatever. So well, Pincer dies anyway. Yeah, yeah. Not a problem. Um, also, also as a 
as a ghost weakness again, because your only resists are TU and Crawdunt. And those aren't really resists. Yeah. Depending on them, most of the time at least. Yeah, I, I see that. Uh, what's his setup removal yes. like? He really only has Deancey and Rhyperior as options, so that's not good. Oh, and he has negative removal. Zero, uh, yeah. actual zero removal. Halusha does not count. Are you sure? That's bad. It does not, no. No, it doesn't. Um, yeah, so you're relying really on bad. on Hat. You're relying on Hat as like a deterrent. Yeah, I did forget about Hat. Um, I, I think every week it's like Hat, Melmetal, Nine tails. Yeah. Well, I guess you. I guess there's like a, a sun team and then a non sun team in this. I mean, yeah. I guess like you're probably running either Dancy or Rhyperior most weeks, so I can maybe see it. And then yeah, again, like with this team, you don't really want to be stacking hazards anyway, so it's oh. not the worst thing. But just I, yeah, the removal. Like, I feel like out of has some to run boots. Cheese has, has to run boots every week. But you want to run Scarf Hitler is the issue, is right? It's not good when you don't have yeah. good removal. Like, that's a really big problem, I think. Yeah, so you are you like have to hit the hat predicts, I guess. And then... And is it tails, worth yeah. clicking Healing Wish on Ninetales for hat? Like, if you're that desperate? Potentially, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah. like, not, like Ninetales is running the Heat Rock, so yeah, that's... Ugh. Yeah, you really need... A better removal option has got to be like I know Hattering can do stuff, but people are gonna get hazards up. Or they're gonna just throw Stealth Rock on a random mom that doesn't normally run it, and then you're screwed. Yeah, that's really not good. Like I feel like like the perfect example is King Gambit technically gets Stealth Rock. If you swap King Gambit in on a like hat, you have to swap out, and so that's the perfect Rock's turn. Mm -hmm. So it's it's stuff like that that just kind of, I feel like you'll slowly lose the hazard war. Yeah, and you're losing a lot of momentum with Nine Tails too. Um, let's see. Otherwise, I don't really see any type weaknesses. Oh no, sorry, I was looking at Cole's uh, no. team. <laughs> yeah, there's. Uh, you have. Yeah, just the rocks weakness, and I guess ground. Actually, ground's pretty bad, huh? Because yeah. Pinsir, Pinsir is an immunity before Megas, too. Ice, ice isn't too much better. Like, your ice resist is, dying, uh, is what? Crawdont, Ninetales, Melmetal, and Shiyu. And your ice weeks are Pinsir, Halucha, Venusaur, Electrode, and Rhyperior. Yep. I see it. Um, let's see. But yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a very, it's. I would say it's a threatening draft. I think the defense can work. It's really just the glaring hazard problem, and then a couple weaknesses: ghost, ground. And um, ice. how do you guys feel about the team having a couple fire week, like four fire week mons? Yeah. Yeah, Mel metal being weak Those to fire types. is not. Yeah. Also, Venusaur. Which, I mean... Yeah. That's what I, I mean, Walking Wake is a really good switch in. Yeah. Um, it can switch in the... Yeah, even in the sun. It'll eat, it'll eat it up, yeah. But, yeah, it's not the best. It, it worries then, like, me a little bit. Like, just like Dance... Like, Rhyperior is suspect because it just has quad weaknesses. And Dancy, um is good, I guess, but also you're probably using it more early game to set up hazards, and so, I don't know, it's just not super reliable. I think there's a weird world where this also has a trick room mode. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm at like, I'm between a 7.5 and an 8, I'll give it a 7.75. I think uh -huh. it's pretty solid. Um... I think I might go lower at seven, just because I feel like. Actually, yeah, the nine like... tails. I, I, I feel like it wants to do too much. Yes, I feel like it wants to do. 
I feel like prep's going to be easy into this, and it's going to be hard to prep against other teams. I, yeah. I think you fix a lot of problems with hazard removal, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'll still hold it at seven and a half, but yeah, it's... I think you could drop Lucia and grab... I agree. Something. Eleven. You, you also have an extra point to spare, so you could... Uh... I don't think Electrode is super necessary either. I don't think so either. Um, or even Rhyperior, honestly. Like, hey, just, just putting this out there, Torkoal is in fact still available. Yeah, I would really like to get Torkoal, Rapid Spin, Stealth Rock. Yeah, like, I'm, I think I'm Tor wondering and, like, if Torkoal it's... Torkoal is so much better than Ninetales, it's not even funny. Could you drop Halucha for Torkoal and then Ninetales for something else? Well, yeah, you can just yeah. like get rid of Rhyperior, it's not doing anything. I mean, you kind of want another defensive option. You can just like get a cheap one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking because like if you Halucha for Torkoal works because you have that one extra point, and then seven points go towards. I'm oh, sure there's a chlorophyll mon. Oh wait, Rhyperius is only ground type, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, I don't like that at all. All right, I'm down to seven. Uh. You could, yeah, you could go to Mudsdale as well. Not right? cheaper. Uh, no, no. If you if you drop Nine Tails and Halucha and Rhyperior, you can go Torkoal, Mudsdale, and then have like five points left over for something else. Yeah, I can see it. All right. On to Ellie. Uh, didn't really get a chance this, to get Ellie's draft. It looks. This is this is the team that Spectre's gonna get. Forty-five kills. Yeah. With everyone's, with everyone's ghost weaknesses. Yeah, yeah. Um, I. I don't. Hate, I I kind of like this draft. I do too. This was it setting up for him to take Raging Bolt again. <laughs> I feel like this team. Dude, I was so worried hold. about it. He had the pick before I picked Raging, or two picks I, before I picked Raging Bolt, and I was sure he's gonna get it. And it happened. I, it I, happened I, in RPO two, where I was two picks away from picking Raging Bolt, and then he sniped it from me. The, the funniest thing was, so I I DM'd him like right before the pick, asking, "Are you just taking Raging Bolt again?" And Dude, then why did you do he, that? <laughs> what the fuck? I told you I was getting Raging Bolt. No, no, no. This was this was before you had said anything. This was like um, okay, when he drafted was. Rillaboom. Okay, I think I told you I was taking Raging Bolt pretty early, though. Uh, after. After. Yeah, alright. Because I, I wouldn't mention that. That'd be fucked up for me to do. Um. Yeah. So, there is a ground weakness, but yeah. there's grassy terrain. So now it's... And... Like there's an earth power weakness. So, and he drafts an extra... And a high horsepower weakness. Uh, sure, technicalities, but... <laughs> Um, uh, I mean, that's sort of unironically uh, what you do. You just run. Oh, high oh no, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. You run high horsepower on like. Um, doesn't Rillaboom get that too? Yeah. Yeah, it but. Is. Yeah. It's it's good. Um, I will say the the two main problems I'm seeing. I don't really know what Excadrill is doing on the T. Like, I feel like you could do other things if you're doing grassy terrain with no sand. I think it's nice as like a physical, bulky offense, kind of like a Mamo Swine. Mm. Light, yeah. and then obviously but, you have the spin option. Like it's a good AV, yeah. Like just hits hard mid game kind of mod. And then the other problem is obviously you have Spectre, which is incredible, um, and it can hit normal types, but you're relying on Infernite being your fighting type to break through. I feel like you need a stronger fighting type. It's it's not bad with close combat, right? Like, I, I mean, you're, you're I, late I, off, so it's, it's not great. I don't know what I mean last season. I did not like it. I just feel like yeah. it's Infernite never is so enough for never strong yeah, enough. Yeah, it's, I really don't like Infernite either at all. Um, it, it's move pool is great, but it just, yeah, it's not fast. It's not powerful. It's just like a... It, it feels like a lead to me. Like where you're setting up rocks, you're going to click your overheat or close combat, and then you're going to like U-turn out or something. But it, it needs to be like you want like a strong fighting type breaker with yeah. that to really threaten those normal could things. You, could you technically be relying on what a focus blast or something? I mean, you have CC on Rillaboom, you have focus blast on Darkrai. 
Like, there are definitely ways to punch through. Does... CC isn't on Rillaboom, I'm pretty uh -huh. sure. Yeah. No, it gets, it, it gets it, drain punch. Drain it gets punch. body press and drain punch are the, the two big ones. Or I guess yeah. hammer arm. Yeah, I always figured everything gets close on that. Yeah. He also basically uh, only has stealth rocks for hazards, and honestly, besides Blissey, his setters are not good. Hello. Hello. Run. Hello. Hello. Um, what else is there? There's technically spikes as well. Yeah, no, but there's not. Can I ask uh, what they're talking about uh, so maybe I can help? We're talking about Ellie's draft. Uh, um, let's um, see. Um, what but else yeah, is it, there? Like, Excredo can set rocks, but it's not great, especially if you're running AV, which I think is more what you want to be doing. Um, yeah, but for Excredo, um, I think the... Well, I think it's best better as a Sand Sweeper or maybe as a Rapid Spin Sweeper. You know, things like that. Yeah, but he just doesn't have... Yeah, sand cool. and he, he already has like the speed yeah so i don't think he um, needs it offensively i, I think defensively this team is really good i don't like blissey normally just because i feel like it's way too passive but i do like slow i mean it gets lot. teleport now and yeah it's, what do you guys it's okay think on the priority here right like it's priority's fine it's okay like dark right yeah Sucker Punch is a good option. Excadrill, or sorry, not Excadrill, Infernape, Rock Punch. Grassy Line. And then, yeah, yeah, gra yeah Priority's like totally fine. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like, I'm not seeing a whole ton of issues. He doesn't really have um, a great setup. Yeah, well, consider the combo of uh, Drain Punch plus Iron Fist. Um, and the Flare Beats, Thunder Punch for coverage. And since it has uh, a sphere, now it can even use a special set even better. Yeah, but it, he yeah. he has a lot of special offense already. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that is a pretty big downside. Is that all of his fast mods are special besides uh, Infernape? Hey, I think you're uh, relying on. Um... Some other stuff. Um, what else? I I didn't love Altaria being the dragon on this team. Oh yeah, Altaria is just terrible. I think he just needed like a flying type, but in a dragon I, type, I, I guess. guess. Um, yeah. I'm no. wondering if you could drop the Avalug. Because you have other removal options, and pair that with the four points from Altaria, yeah, and, and just like gets the, the one better. extra to grab a better dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he needs a flying uh, too. Like he needs a ground immunity. Let's see. Like really bad. You actually. could, yeah. You could grab. Oh gosh, I don't. I don't actually know what I would grab with what's left. Because if you're if you're just going for ground immunity, it opens it up a little bit with some of the levitate mons, but I mean that's fine. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I I don't I think his defense is super suspect because like you've got basically only Blissey and then like Avalug I guess, but that's bad. Like Altaria is a really bad mon. Avalug's a bad mon, especially without Terra. Um, Blissey can obviously be exploited. Blastoise is not that bulky. Uh, Belly Bolt's kind of cool. It's like an AV pivot, but... And then, like, Slowbro can maybe do things, but, yeah, no, his defense is really lacking. Now, you know it'd be kind of fun? Hmm. Is if you drop Avalug and change Infernape to Speed Boost Blaziken. Ooh. Now that could be interesting. That would be fun. I only got solves all his issues, but sure. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, I mean, it'd be fun. No, no, no. It's it... just fun. I think it's, better. it's way better than Infernape. Yeah. 
Uh, anyway. I don't know. I'm kind of just not... I don't, like, the, the team is too threatening at first. Uh, but I think it kind of doesn't synergize too well together. I, I think it'll do fine enough. I think... Yeah. Even, like, AVs and everything. I, I, I think offensively this team is going to absolutely throttle people. Yeah. But, like, the... the Spectre and Darkrai prep is very similar. Uh, I guess Deancey's nice because it can break through the bulky darks, but... Yeah. My, this just popped into my head. This could be entirely not a non-issue, but... It feels like the, the top threats, like Spectre, Darkrai, Deancey, have a very threatening priority move to them. To where if you, like... Um, if you're playing against a Scizor team, like, Diancie's gonna mm. feel real rough. It, like, even Darkrai and Spectre don't want to take a bullet punch. Yeah, uh, a, a sucker punch team. on Spectre, a vacuum wave on Darkrai. Like, it, it feels like you have to be very worried, even if you're fast, that you might just die. That's fair. Yeah. I'm giving it a seven and a half. Um, let me pull up what I had. Um, I also had a seven and a half. I I think I'll go I'll go eight. I think it, I think it's better than it looks. All right. Uh, we have Cloud Dragon next, right? Cloud yep. Dragon. Uh, the hundred speed cluster is pretty real. Then again, yeah. it's better to have a cluster at like 100 than it is at like 70, you know? We so Yeah, we did I've, see a, a cluster at 60 earlier. Yeah, so like, it's not the worst. He does have a lot of things. He has, he has three things above 100, so I think it works. Um, and then, let's see. I don't see a lot of priority. E-Speed Arcanine, that's it. Uh, Shadow Sneak on Age yeah, Slash. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. And then, like, Vacuum Wave on Gardevoir is the last one. It's so not kind of real. That I think it counts. Real. Vacuum Wave on Mega Gardevoir. Are you serious? It's it's 40 base power. Oh, wait, it's the same it's as special. Like Shadow Sneaks. It's special, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I can maybe consider that real. It's I, I think it's it's something that, like, Dark Types have to worry about or... Um, like, the Steels, potentially, if they're, like, low. You can't just be like, aha, I gotcha. To like the fairy type of Guard of War. This is yeah. another one of those teams that feels like a. Obviously, I have some Gen 9 mons, but it still feels like a Gen 7 draft. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. With Guard of War, Age of Slash, Salivance, Manaphy. So the main thing is his hazard option, one, not, you know, singular, is uh, Iron Treads. Yeah. Yep. Only thing. Or a singular form of hazards. A singular form. It is a solid stealth rocker, so it's not like terrible, but obviously not good. Uh, his really only viable, I guess, Salamence defensive can run defog, but yeah, yeah, Iron Treads is really his only spinner too. So Iron Treads is like very forced in. Torn gets defog too, right? Yeah, Torn gets defog. Yeah, yeah, but I guess you can run it as like an option, yeah. but because it, you know, it gets the prankster. It's not not the best. Um, no. But the, you know that's that's I think more of a minor issue. Um, I would say like just the power. I'm not super threatened by. Gardevoir is good power, but base 100 and then it can be prepped for. And then Age of Slash at 140. Yeah, but Age of Slash. Just I, is suspect. It's a good mon. I don't like it though. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I his setup it. is good. Like the Salamence Manaphy is a nice setup pair. Uh, mm -hmm. Aegis Slash can set up two, and then like the Iron Boulder is a great cleaner. So th the offense works, I think, but it's it could just it could be better, you know. They really I... wanted um, uh, Petra Run instead of Aegis Slash, but you sniped them that round, Greg. Oh, yeah, that that mod's too good. I think Petra Run. Oh wow, well, Petra Run uh, plus Snorlax would be too disgusting. Mm hmm. But. And yeah, the defense kind of is not it's really a, strong. A, uh, I think this seems really bulky. 
or can be. It, really it has bulky. bulky offense, yeah, but it, it just in terms of walls, Arcanine, sure. I guess, and then, um, like I don't think Snor I don't like Snorlax really. I don't like personally. it. Uh, Defensive yeah, Mens is an option. I just like most teams have like one or two really good walls, and I don't really see that on this team, you know. Yeah. It's what Wo Chin is the best one, right? Yeah. And it's it's sticky. Like it's got Leech Seed for longevity. That's that's about all I got. It's you got Ruination. It's kind of threatening with that. Like it'll. If I don't know. They also don't, don't, have a, they don't have a ground or poison either. Yes. This team is T Spikes week. I told them they could drop like Tauros for Drapion. Mm hmm. And then possibly. I don't like Boulder at all, personally. Um, so I said they could, if they dropped uh, Tauros for Drapion and then dropped Boulder for like Buzzwall. Mm, I like Boulder on this team, though. I think you need uh, to. Yeah, be... I think. I agree. I think Boulder on this team is a lot better. And you have one of the only... Because what, what's the... Doesn't it get a new rock move or something that I forget about? Mighty Cleave. Yeah. Mighty Cleave, yeah. It's just it's like, like that and Ivy Cudgel are the two good ones. Well, yeah, it's the two rock moves that don't miss. Yeah. 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 And there's there's obviously a lot of rock weak teams. Yeah, I, I do like Iron Boulder on this team. Um, but yeah, I, I can see like dropping Tauros so or just like a any poison ever. Because uh, I don't think Taurus does a lot with Arcanine there. Like, it's just... I don't think yeah. Taurus does anything in general. I Technically, had, double I had Intimidate it once, it was bad. I say triple Intimidate for? Uh, oh, with Elements. True. Yeah. Elements, Arcanine, Taurus, yeah. yeah. Would you consider dropping Aegislash on this team? I think you could do things. It's it's. I like the priority in the setup it provides. Yeah. But it, it's not necessary because yeah, you do have the iron treads. Like yeah, if you, I would like consider it if um if you see another like good alternative. Um, this is one of the few teams that isn't as ghost weak with Wotian and Snorlax. I think those are pretty good. True, true, true. Um, but three mons that you're gonna want to bring every week, or at least this week are, correct. which is kind of. Yeah. Very correct. But otherwise, like, defensively, it's not, not horrible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't see a lot of it's, 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 it's a lot better than all of those drafts have been. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't it, know. It's just, it's, again, it's one of those drafts that's, like, really balanced. Yep, I agree. Um, yeah, just a lot of, like, mons that take hits and dish hits back. Um, nothing crazy threatening. Um, but you've got, like, a lot of options, you know? I'll give Go seven ahead. and a half. Yeah, I'm between seven and a half and an eight. I'll give it... Oh, I I thought that we were going to be uh, aligned. I, I had it closer to, like, a six and a half, six-ish. I didn't love it. It's um, not bad. Seven it's and a half. I think great. the hazards are yeah. kind of a big... Not a big thing, but a decent problem. Yeah. Okay. Time for me. Copied my draft almost. Greg, what you got? What do I have for yours? Mm -hmm. Pull it up. It's the wrong picture. Okay, yeah, the wrong picture. So everything was working, and then I uh, had some dumb bug with it. So whatever, it happens. Um. All right. Let's see. I th I was gonna start off with a lie just to see what you would say, but I didn't have it prepped. Um, it probably let's got see. Me. I, I, yeah, just to bait you into, I, I, into I'm falling for the bait lately, man. I almost got I, you, scammed you today. Have been. I posted about it. I almost got scammed, dude. <laughs> um, Did you the... ever think about doing a Rotom Wash or Raging Bolt? Rotom Wash instead of Raging Bolt? Yeah. Uh, Not really. That's what I drafted. I, I think I just like, I just like was prepared to wait on my bulky water because there's so many good ones. I yeah. I, I, I like never I think Rotom Wash is really good, but it's just like not a mon I would spend a first around like a first three or four pick on, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Um so I noticed you were a smidge rock week. 
Yeah. Uh, it's, just, I, yeah. Uh, and, it's a it's know, a bit maybe, of a weakness. Maybe maybe Iron Boulder would uh, appreciate playing your team outside of uh, Mega Scizor. Um, let's see. Um, you have a couple of gaps in your speed towards the top, and yeah, I, think... I would say my speed is is not as good as I typically like to get it, but I think my priority is so great that I really don't care. Um, yeah, because I, I don't think you're running max speed landers. Yeah, no, like lander can go scarf a lot, and then yeah, I, I so, think so. I think it's yeah. Uh, I, th I really think it's like a gap between like 106 and 75. Well, maybe even. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. What do you mean? I've got 106, 91, 85. Yeah. But I'm, but I'm saying you're not running max speed on Landorus, Quillfish, or Scizor most of the time. Or even maybe Raging Bolt. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at it. I was like, I wonder if you're going to end up kind of relying on choice scarf or an amorous and lando t if you want to run that offensively yeah i think probably one of them would be scarf most weeks but i just think like a lot of teams have like i don't know four mons over 100 but mm -hmm. i feel like the three mons i have over 100 are coming every single week pretty much like they're really good oh, sure. good mons you know so it's kind of mm -hmm. it kind of is a little bit misleading that i only have three mons over 100 but they're three really really good mons um let's see Oh, so something that I, I noticed on this team in particular was you have knockoff mons, but mm -hmm. um, the problem from before where I was like, hey, a lot of these like running other moves instead. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Allo runs knockoff like every single week, right? And then I think, like, yeah, okay, Lando doesn't really run knockoff that often. Um... um Scizor, I think you're picking between that and Pursuit, maybe? Yeah. I think it's CC. Yeah. Like, it, it's like, Scizor has so many good moves that I, I think there just is competition. It's not like, oh. Sure. And then uh, Serena's a really good knockoff user, if I'm bringing it. Yeah. So, um, I, I, maybe I, I, do, I, I do like Serena. I do like Serena a lot, because it opens up Defog from Lando and Scizor. Yeah. Yeah, I just really wanted, well, like, I... A spinner would have been nice, but I think it's also a really good AV user on my team, because uh, yeah. I need I need a little bit more special defense. Mm -hmm. And Serena's got like a great move pool. Uh, obviously, like it just runs like you know rapid spin, U turn, uh, knock off. It can run like other moves, coverage moves. So I think it's very uh, it really solid. Yeah, I Allo runs on Quillfish is it's like good. Um, such a it's mid tier, but it's probably the best mid tier like. Yeah, I think I think my least favorite mod for sure is Bronzong on this team. Um, just because it, it really doesn't do much besides set up stealth rocks and resist rock and flying, which I really needed. Um, yeah. But I, I will you say screens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I did. I, I'll see how screens works on Bronzong. I don't know if I love it, but it could work. I know GLB used it a lot. Last yeah, your your ghost week too on this team. Yeah. At least in, in the uh, sense of like you're, what, you're only resist Shadow Ball. You only resist the Squillfish. It's like tech not, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I wouldn't count out on it. Like, I can see special um, ghost, yeah. Um like I, I think I Shadow think Ball is gonna problem. be annoying for you. Yeah, but like Quillfish um, is so bulky too. Like even if I'm if I'm running a yeah, this is I can run like Max Spadef. Like I think I already ran a Spectre. I think I already ran a Spectre Calc and Quillfish handle Spectral, no problem. You know? Even with, even with sub? Well, okay, sure, but... <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think... I, I love my draft. Yeah. Like, no, really... I, think it's, I think it's really solid. Like, I just think the mods yeah, yeah. are insane. Are insane. Like, yeah, pivots are insane, yeah. but just like... Like, fucking Raging Bolt is such a fucking good mod. Yeah. Cinderace, like, with Libero, so good. Enamorous, like... Just hits Enamorous so fucking hard. Worse. Why did it make it to you? I like just, some of the six seems crazy. Like yeah, my 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 three through six was insane. Like I could not believe that shit kept dropping to me. Um, like I was picking between those three in the raging bolt slot, and then and then a, and then a Alamomola dropped to me. It's like the mons on my team. I just love them all so much. Like Mistrevis is goaded. <laughs> like 
I think even Impidimp like is actually like very viable. Like I think I'm gonna bring bring that a couple times. Um, as like a better screen setter than Bronzong. I I love this team. I think this I, might I be thought my that best was an absurd statement, but you might be right. Like I think I don't know. I can't think of a draft I've done that's better than this since like RPL like six or something. Um, yeah. Uh, I do think like. I think your removal's good, but I, I do think it's going to be, like, your one, like, struggle every week is deciding who gets it. Yeah, I also think, though, I can run boots on a lot of Mons, uh, like, Bundle, like, like, like loves to when run I, boots. Yeah, that's true. Um, and an Enamorous, if it's not Scarf, is a really good boots user. That's, yeah. Um, Cinderace can run boots, if it's not Scarf. So, right. I think I think it's okay. Um, I'm more just worried about like a rocks type uh, weakness, you know. Um, and then I think the only other thing that you guys didn't mention is like my special bulk is not the best. I guess you kind of mentioned that with the ghost weakness, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's fine. Personally, I think it's like okay, but it, it definitely like you can run you can run split of Scizor, and it's like actually pretty great. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's something that I'm. It's I, not I like ran uh, Yeah, you can do that. I I'm not like panicking about it, but it's like an eyebrow raise. Like yeah, for let's, sure. Let's see how this goes. I think AV raging um, bolt could be big. Like um, raging bolt's actually so bulky. It's crazy. Uh, I I kind of agree, but I feel like on raging bolt, losing access to booster or calm mind. Feels kind of bad. I agree, but also like I had Raikou last week and I ran an AV a lot, or last year, last right. season, and I just I just think it's the kind of mon that just runs AV really well. You don't have to go set up, especially because I have other setup options. Sure, I I'm just kind of worried because Raikou's faster, um, and so I feel like you can still kind of naturally outspeed things because what I feel like Raging Bolt Raging is Bolt's like just a better. I mean, Raging Bolt is bulkier. It gets Thunderclap, which Raikou doesn't, so it's like right a good like f- like filler move on av and it's a dragon type which is really good defensively you know i i agree i i think all this i'm i'm just i i love running the like fizz def like max hp max defense calm mindset yeah um, i'm sure I'll like be it, running it that. feels really threatening yeah um sure all right but I, I guess it is viable. I, I, I just is not my favorite set to run on it. Yeah. I, I, I get this like play a minute and a half. Yo. Um, I, I will say, um, I gave it an eight. But to be fair, that was like the second highest rating I gave. Okay. Uh, initially, <laughs> so, like, I, I didn't give like anything usually, like a nine or a ten. Usually, you give stuff higher than. Well, maybe I, not. Yes, that is, that is true. I well, I either give, I'm either skewed up or skewed down like across the board i don't know how you can give this so, an eight when there's a mischievous on the team i'm just saying uh you're right it should be a seven <sighs> uh yeah i give my no, i i give it a nine and a half i like it so much yeah i had yours um like top four like i, I had things that were, like on par so like okay what between two and four was for me so all right on to kish I haven't looked at Kish drafts, drafts so much. I see the speed is very poor. Yeah, the speed is Uh, yeah. So, my my biggest issue was not just that the speed wasn't great, but you can't run Choice Scarf on mm-hmm. on Ogre Pond. Huh. Because you're you're locked into taking the, the mask, right? Yeah. Um... You yeah, also and can't, can't run Lele and Lokix. Yes, that's another one. Yeah. Like anti synergy. Um, that is true. Although Lele is a really good scarfer, which he very much needs. It, yeah. I think you're basically only scarfing. Yes, agreed. I think literally it's scarf Lele every single week until he drops it. <laughs> uh, which is fine. I, like Lele is one of the best scarf users in the format, in my opinion. I, I would argue that what should happen is a trade between Kish and Havoc for something. Just anything. That's the, the Dragapult team. 
Oh. Right? With the, the Sneasler, Corviknight. Yeah. 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 I, but, I think that should happen. But Havoc um, doesn't really have any speed that Kish wants. That's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, so, it's, it's a bit of a, a wild one. It's a bulky, it's a My, bulky team. Like, you have great tusk gouging, self stealer Rotom. It doesn't really solve together. Is Doshman really 95 speed? Yeah. It's fast. Why? <laughs> Sorry, just why? It's a good um, dog. It's a good dog, yeah. Um, let me like, let me see. I, the note I had was weak to steel, rock, fairy, ice, and ghost. How is it possible yeah. to be weak to steel? <laughs> <laughs> Tapu Lele, Ogre Pond, Glamora, Dosh Pond, Ice Q. Yeah, double double rock. Yeah, type, with your resist that. being gouging fire, Celesteela, and Rotom Wash and Tusk. Yeah, I mean, those are good resists. Yeah. Oh, no, it, Tusk it's... Tusk actually resists? Tusk? Tusk doesn't... No, it doesn't resist. Wait, what? Fighting doesn't resist steel? Okay. No, no, we had this discussion, like, two days ago. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's um, true, yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, like... Like, the... Obviously, it's meant to be more of an offensive team, but yeah. the speed is not like, there, and he doesn't... Yeah. Even if he didn't have Lele, the priority isn't there outside of low kicks. Um, it... I don't know. It, it seems like this team you want to like set stuff with Glamora and then go for like a DD sweep with Gouging Fire or like sure, a, but it, he, does, he just doesn't have a lot of he doesn't have like any support for that. He doesn't no. have screens. He doesn't have like Shed Tail. He doesn't maybe like Leech Seed yeah. counts. I don't know. But I Rotom could run screens. Also, I think Rotom is doing a lot of heavy lifting on the defense end. Like, I, I'm concerned, right? Because you're somewhat weak to fire. Um, and that's going to be just with what you're bringing, one of the better switch-ins for that. Um, oh, you also fire have... there. Right. Um, but I guess do you, if you're running booster on that, right, you don't want to waste that, potentially. Sure. Um, and then you also have flying, which, like, I'm sure Celestia could, but it feels like Rotom is just, like, one of the answers to everything. And it's like, I wish there was, like, one other thing that could help with something. Like, Celestia is good. Um, I think Rotom Sela is, like, a really good, like, mm -hmm. core. I guess he's yeah. throwing Great Tusk. I think it... Does it cover? Let me check. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess, actually, looking at it more, the defense is pretty solid. Um, doesn't have a great special wall option. Is it like I mean, AV Rotom, Tusk? Rotom and so uh, can like do it's stuff. Like yeah, yeah, it's like Scylla. Yeah, it's like Scylla. Yeah. Um, I don't know when just... you'd ever bring any of the last four months. Oh my god, I cannot believe you did Tangle like that. Tangle is goaded, dude. Tang yeah, Tangle is kind. Tangle I think Tangle so is. Good. I love it's it. Pretty I was gonna, good. I was gonna get it if I didn't need like a spinner in Serena. I think Dark Spun is your is a fire immunity just with well baked body, and then like maybe a Wishmon or something. True. I just feel like there's other things you need. But yeah, I, I agree that like the bottom four besides Tangela don't do anything, really. So um, the bottom two have. No use, right? Got I mean, it. Yeah, but, but they're, yeah. they're worth what, like two points? <laughs> yeah. Combined. I, it, it makes me sad that Ice Q is only if there were a snow team. Five points. Yeah. I don't know why people draft like really low tier offensive mons like Dracolac. Like, it's not going to do anything. Draft, I, like, I think it was user. just the filler. Yeah. Sure. Like, right? yeah, sure, you want to ghost it, but it's just like, there's better zero but, point mons than Dracolac, in my opinion. Sure. I, I think Kish just likes Dracolac, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's the synergy's off, man. I just don't see it. Yeah, like I I think we covered most of it. Um. Mm -hmm. Trying to see if there is something that we uh like. It's got good hazards to end on a positive note, right? Like. Yep. Good hazards. Good removal. So that's that's yeah, fine. Yeah. But just yeah. It's just the speed bad is offense. really, really bad. Um, and 
but the defense is questionable. Hmm. I gave it a six. I give it like a six. Ah, maybe. I'll give it a seven. Final one. All right. All right. I'm here. You start. I am you, here. You to look like you had a lot draft. to say. I love it. Okay. He okay. He has comfy over Drenna, which is such an amazing transaction. Mm -hmm. Um, this draft is amazing. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> the my biggest problem is probably the speed. So uh -huh. I would say, like in general, the big problem with this draft is he is so incredibly over reliant on rain. It's insane. Uh huh. He needs yeah. rain. Everything needs rain. Archelodon really appreciates rain. Dracovish really appreciates rain. Cartana really appreciates rain. Swampert needs rain. Uh, you know, Overcoil sometimes needs rain. Ludicolo needs rain. Like, his, this Pelipper is the most pressured Pelipper in the world. This Pelipper is <laughs> like... so a, right. Like... <laughs> You're so right. Dude, this Pelipper, man. This thing has got to live. <laughs> Like this is this is this is definitely the linchpin of the draft, for sure, of any any draft. This this Pelipper man. Dumb question. Uh, yeah. Would you consider dropping something to pick up Polytoad as I well? I was actually gonna say that. I was literally gonna say that. Like literally, he could consider bring two Rainmons every single week, or like I was yeah. gonna say like some kind of like a Thundy T with Prankster Rain Dance. Does is Thundy yeah. T available? Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, sure. yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Thundy Eye, you mean? Thundy oh, yeah, Thundy Eye, Eye yeah. The, the Prankster one. I don't know how he's gonna get the points, points for it. I don't know. I don't think uh, you you drop like packs, good. just flat drop packs for it, right? No, I like packs. No, I, yeah, think, I think Drake Fish. Drake, you don't need Drake Fish, man. Like Drake Fish is just oh yeah yeah. I forgot. No, I, he already has a I'd rather have Pex Tangrowth than Drake Fish. Yeah, he could just drop Drake Fish and then like replace Raichu with like a like Dreadnought again or something. I don't know if the points work out. So okay, I yeah, can but... see that, but otherwise, I think this draft's pretty damn good. Like the offense is super threatening. You know, Arkeladon, what the fuck are you gonna do? Dracovish can't do anything against Cartana and Rain is pretty cracked. Swampert's obviously cracked in Rain. Uh, Overqual I think is like a really nice uh, alternate swim, uh, swift swim sweeper that you can bring to some matchups. And I think Ludicolo is a nice like AV user that can do a lot of big things in rain too um talk spec tangrowth is pretty great covers each other's yeah. weaknesses pretty well um his removal is pretty poor uh for sure um like pelipper you do not want to be defogging it's you, already you so can't pressured. Afford. you cannot yeah. please please do not expect to defog with pelipper oh my god this thing cannot do it all <laughs> okay I'm, I'm gonna be honest i i don't know if you want to risk pelipper clicking u-turn some weeks like i i think you might just actually be hard swapping into something which yeah, it, yeah it i seems agree scary, i, I like... totally agree i was gonna say that actually too i was gonna say like don't even don't even take a hit with pelipper don't even risk it just switch um yeah. but he has the comfy now for defog which is a big help yes. um that's like um, one of the main reasons and also just it covers his uh his fighting and dragon weakness which he had before comfy that that addition i i honestly think it's kind of saving the draft in a sense yeah um oh god i i think you said it all honestly like, yeah. it, it is a rain team. I actually think there is a variation of this team that functions out of rain. I like, yeah, disagree. For sure. I do not. Like, uh, no. <laughs> no. I mean, maybe, well, I, okay, maybe, like, Scarf Dracovish. It, it's Scarf Dracovish, because it's, it's Sandrush anyway. It's not like you're, um, you're moving faster. It's just right? like so rated you're, you're... so much better than his alternatives. Right, no, I I agree, I agree. But if there's like a one week where rain is just awful, or if people have started to just bring sunny day, sandstorm, hail, or whatever on on mons to try and ruin this, you can run like a defensive Arcaladon focused around um, body press, or you use your power herb for electro shot. Yeah. Cartana can function outside. Um, your Pex Tangrowth are independent of rain entirely. You have Intimidate Overquill. Comfy is still good. Raichu is passable. 
I don't think like, Ryu you, you could. Much besides give you... Well, yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, Outside of rain, yeah, you kind of need it, but... Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I think there exists maybe one week where you could run this. Like, I, I think it's something you, you can't ignore. Um, like, if you're prepping against it. Like, what happens if they run this without Pelipper? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, the problem is just, yeah, people are going to be hard countering rain against you. Mm -hmm. Like, this would be a good That's, ladder team, oh. but, um, yeah, not. Yeah. In draft, it can be rough. Um, so there's, also, there's also, the like, if you, if you did drop Dracovish for Thundy T, for Thundy I, yeah. potentially I think... drop a right through and pick up anything that's, like, seven points or lower. I'm looking mm -hmm. through to see if anything stands out. Um, I, yes, I, think, I think I think just like Dreadnought again. No, I I feel like well, I'm I'm saying like you use that slot to oh. find like a out of range like option. Can you get like a better so, better spinner than Sand Slash? Like, can you combine uh -huh. Sand? You know. Uh, you could. So for seven or dropping less. Sans, if we're well, dropping Sand Slash yeah. as well, that gets you to eleven. Yeah, so you can anything okay. eleven or less. So at eleven or less for. He needs rapid a ground, spin though. in particular. A ground. If we're looking for a ground type spinner, Sand Slash is your best because you get Toad School, Drillbur, Baltoy, Sandshrew. Yeah. But he could also just um, get like a cheapo ground and then get a, a spinner that's like. Yeah. Your, your spinners that are under 11 points, just to rattle from like the top five, are Cloyster, Tatsugiri, Bramblegast. Hitmonchan, and then you get to the three pointers of like Morpeko, Kabutops, Komala. like Mr. Rhyme, Komala, and oh. Eldegoss. Oh, Armaldo. Yeah. Not yeah, great. Not. I think maybe Cloyster could be a cool because Cloyster gets like hazards too, which is really mm -hmm. nice. But it's just, I don't know if another water mon is going to fit. But yeah, potentially Cloyster plus like a one point yeah. ground or something. Or you could, uh, you could drop, uh, say you drop Jacobish, get Thundee, drop a right shoe, you can get Whimsicott would be fun. And that wouldn't be. Oh, you should have Comfey, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you could. I think he's. No, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. It's good. Well, yeah. I don't know. It's not that good. <laughs> like, the, the over reliance yeah. on rain is, is just rough. But I think it's. I think it's like an above average draft. I would well, say. Yeah, what was uh, yeah uh, but you're that getting Thundee. Cursed. I really uh, like Rotom Mo, but not for this team. You're you already have Hangrowth and you're gonna have Thundee, so why? Yeah. Ooh, Pheasantipity would be fun. Right? I, do I don't like know if that one's good. Wait, think, does it really does it get defog though? I don't think it does. Uh, no, it doesn't. I like I like Red Shift Base. Yeah. I, I thought it I was like looking at it at one point in the draft too and I was sure it got defog and I realized. Oh well. Okay. Uh, eight out of ten for me. Seven and a half out of ten. Um. I was seven and a half. I feel like there are just some still some weaknesses that are easy to exploit. Yeah. I will I, say I will it's a say, huge yeah. improvement over what he had initially. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Oh my god! On, I had it we... at like a two. <laughs> I I hadn't gotten to it yet. Um. <laughs> just. I want to. I want to just read this out. It's really um, bad. His ground weakness. The, the, Look at his ground weakness. The initial ground. draft was Dracovish, Kartana, Metacham, Mega, Sinistra, Talonflame, Iron Jugulus, Smeargle, Toad Scroll, Cabalion, uh, Tauros Water, Toxapex, Tangrowth, and then the okay. transactions initially were. Uh, dropping Mega Metacham, Slowbro, Cabalion, Iron Jugulus, Talonflame, Sinistra, Smeargle, Polyrath. Um, and picking up Cleavor, Pelipper, Mega Swampert, Floatzel, Raichu, Overquill, Ludicolo, Kabutops. Yeah. Like, this this team has been, like, so crazy. Actually, it was his electric weakness initially. He had, yeah. like, zero resist, no ground type. Like, his electric weakness was insane. All right. Uh, we should end the podcast. That's probably the longest one we've ever done. That was crazy. Yeah, I, I just want to end it off by saying... It's a good rain team. It's just rain teams are predictable in draft. Yeah, but if he gets <sighs> the Thundee with rain dance, 
He gets bonus setup. That's true. You need a backup. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Thanks for listening. Good night. Oh my.